kill a wall. Am I ready to be live? No. No, I am not. I do not even have my face ready. <laughs> but I didn't want the, um, the music to continue going. So, give me just a sec to turn on my face. <gasps> Hello, Panda! How are you, darling? Hold on, let me turn on my face. There we go. That's probably a little less disconcerting. Hello, my little uh, albino panda. How are you today? <laughs> Hello, I cute epiphany. If I lag on saying people's names, I can see it. I can read it. Whoa. <sighs> my brain is just dead. I've had a very stressful couple of uh, so there's that um <laughs> i'm glad to hear it how are you iq epiphany thank you for head pat head pats are always appreciated and right now they are very much needed <laughs> i will be okay to anyone concerned i will be fine it's not that serious it's just it's been a lot. <laughs> Is that a doubtful face? Don't doubt me. Mm. <laughs> I promise I genuinely am okay. Um, It's fine. Everything's fine. Like, we're Gucci. Um, I do have, like, a couple problems going in the background. But one of them's already solved. The other one looks like it's being solved and we're actively working on the third. Third and fourth problems. Because I just realized there's a fourth one. But everything will be fine. Everything's okay. Yes, I'm juggling four different problems. This is just my life. Um, and like they're not big problems necessarily. I think one of them is. Uh... But like I said, it's going to be fine. You know, it's just going to take time. So just pray for me, basically. X to doubt. Isn't it F to doubt? No, it's F to pay respects. My apologies. Um, Good, just got done. I've never watched Bebop, uh, Cowboy Bebop. I've heard that I should, but I've just never gotten into it i'm not really into like old anime i think the oldest that i've ever been into was sailor moon like the original i'm gonna sound weird for saying this but it's true the original dick dubs <laughs> um they were like a huge deal when I was a kid. They were like everywhere and now you can't find them because the company went bankrupt because they censored a ton of shit. Do I still want that shit? Fuck yeah, I do. Um, hold it. Hold on. Hold it. Whoop. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. So. Um, and we actually have a couple new additions to the, uh, <laughs> to the overlays. You might have spotted one already, but I'm going to start showing off some of the others, uh, including one by the Mainchi plush in the corner. Um, that one is actually named Boobert. <laughs> um, as uh, as delighted by the mangy and it is the soul of my little uh hanging bun bun over this way <laughs> my little friend so <laughs> we can thank mangy for that uh i Sailor Moon's the same era. Okay, 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 okay. I was worried that I was being, like, insensitive. I'm glad that I'm not. And, um... I just... I'm, I'm not a big anime fan. Like, there are some animes I'm obsessed with. 
And I'll watch like a lot of animes once, but I just, I don't go feral over them. I don't know why. I never have. Sailor Moon is the exception. And then, ooh, what's the other one? Shukuchara is up there. Mostly because I never see anything about it and it was like peak anime when I was a kid. So, love me some Shukuchara merch. Not that you'll ever see it. And to some extent, like early Vampire Night, like I loved the concept and then the execution got poor. Have you seen? I love Blue Exorcist. Um, I hear there's a second anime coming out. I would hope so. I, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it. Another one that I'm going feral for but have not finished is Ergo Proxy. It's a good anime, so I do not blame you. Ergo Proxy is one that I'm currently watching. It has, like, heavy, like, postmodern goth vibes. And then, uh, oh, God. What's it called? I want to say it's called Tresse. It's like, it's not a Japanese anime. Hold on. Yeah, it's Tresse. You can find it on Netflix if you have that. I think it's a Netflix or like only, which is sad. But it came out like two years ago. I'm really, really hoping that it gets renewed. And uh, it's it's just really cool. I want to read the manga, but unfortunately her hairline gives me Ajita. Because it looks like it's a receding hairline. In the anime, they make it more apparent that she's just got really fucked up bangs. But like, in the manga, she looks like she's got a receding hairline. And I'm like, ew. Oh no. <laughs> What is, what are the eyeballs about? What what are you judging me for? <laughs> so um I am going to be working again on the REM plush. Oh no. Assuming, of course, that I do not unplug my fucking tablet. Which I just did. Love that for me. No judge. All interest. Good, good. So, do you guys want to hear a little bit about Tresse and um, Ergo Proxy? Because they're very, like... I want to say, not quite indie, but they're definitely casual. I don't know why, but I get the vibe you'd like another. Ooh, let me Google that real quick. Honestly, like just based off looking at the vibes, probably it looks so cool. There was uh, one anime, I think it was called My Girlfriend, that I really enjoyed as a kid until I got super fucking depressing, which I really should have seen it coming because the, the like concept was uh, depressing. It's, uh, it's not my girlfriend, apparently, because I just looked it up and that's not a thing. Uh, Saishu Haiki, or She, uh, the Ultimate Weapon, or Saikano Girlfriend. It went by a couple different names. The one I knew it by was Saikano Girlfriend, which is where I got mixed up. And it's just about a girl who got turned into a weapon by the military. And, uh, I think it was originally a, uh, like an animated visual novel with choices. And there were two options. One, she, like, dies. The other one, she goes mad and she's like, it's, like, weird. Uh, yeah, that tracks. And honestly, it sounds absolutely like something I'd be into. Ergo Proxy is a kind of like 
similar flavor. Like it's not the, the like the same vibes, but it's got a similar flavor, I guess. Ergo Proxy, she is um, a detective, and she it's like futuristic. It's almost like steampunky ish, and she's trying to figure out like where these androids are being infected by a virus that causes them to kill their owners and she finds a monster that is instilling in them the virus and that's the first episode and like from there it's insane and it just gets weirder as you go i'm like halfway through the first season i don't remember if there's a second season but like i'm intrigued there's some brutal deaths. I actually don't like very brutal animes, surprisingly. Um, I I am weird in the sense that it has to have like a happy ending. Uh, if you do watch it, I will let you know if I manage to get the chance to. Um, but yeah, my recommendations for anime would be Tresse or uh, Ergo Proxy if you're into like the horror fiction e like oh sorry horror science fiction e type thing like Tresse is definitely supernatural ergo proxy kind of leans into the the like science fiction e side of things if you're more into like the like goofy animes shigochara is pretty good um just don't look at their ages too much <laughs> Um, because, like, I looked into their ages at one point because I was, like, curious and I went, ooh, that's, that's a little weird. So, I do not recommend looking into the ages, but otherwise, it's a great anime. Um, so, yeah, those are, those are my favorite animes. Well, I think Sugar Char is my favorite, and then Ergo Proxy and Tresse look like they might take that crown. But I'm not sure. Tresse is definitely like up there. Because to be fair, I was really into anime as a kid and then my boyfriend ruined it for me. I was like, no, sorry, Helsing Ultimate would be my favorite anime. Um, I was like watching Full Metal Alchemist when I was dating him. And like it was his favorite anime. And when he found out I was watching it, he wouldn't shut up about it. Like, he was, he was desperately trying to find common ground and interest to keep me interested. And the problem is, is by the time that I started watching Full Metal Alchemist, I checked the fuck out of that relationship. Like, I was already done. Because by that point, I found out that he was 30, still living with his parents, and had never had a job. I was 19, by the by. And... I was like, no, mm -mm. no, thank you. And he was just a bad boyfriend overall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how I felt. That's how I felt. <laughs> so, um, I, oddly enough, I stayed in that relationship for a year. Um, oof. And I think in... Hold on, let me check my mic audio because I don't want to, I don't want to blow your ears out. Even epiphany. Yeah. 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 Um, I actually cheated in the middle of that relationship. Do not condone cheating, by the way. I just didn't know how to break up with him. Um, which is not like a vibe. Absolutely. Like if you vibe checked me and you told me I was lacking, I'd believe you. I was 19. I made a mistake. But hilariously, the person I cheated on him with was my husband. <laughs> my husband and like a girl who ruined our relationship. Otherwise, I probably would have stayed with him. <laughs> uh, did I just catch you monster high? What do you mean? Although, absolutely I would. Hello, Lord Merrick. Welcome to the stream. How are you, darling? how are how is your day going <laughs> and i have to know what you mean by monster hiding i see this as an absolute with i'm gonna assume you meant to type win and i mean i will say like 
my husband and I and that girl, we lasted for maybe two months. And by that point, like, I wasn't even talking to this guy very much. And then we broke up. And you look like Dracula. Aw, thank you. Um, It's not my intention. This is just my aesthetic. <laughs> Um, you should actually see me without the filter because I currently have a filter because I haven't updated my model in a bit. Um, hold on. Let me find what I normally look like because I just realized some of you have never seen what I look like um, the majority of the year. I am looking like this, A, because it matches my overlay, which was free, and B, because it is, um, it's like spring. This is what I normally look like. <laughs> I am actually orange and black. I'm not pink and black. Pure hot topic. <laughs> I I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but thank you, I guess. <laughs> I did, yes. Yeah. Um, my husband and I technically didn't start like officially dating until 2021. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you for the uh, delighted face, Trash Panda. Um, but yeah, no, thank you for saying I look like Dracula. I take that as an absolute compliment. Um, but no, that was not my intention when I designed my model. I, I'm just goth, and this is this is actually what my hair looks like. Fun fact. Except I currently have it cut short. Will I be cutting my model's hair short? No, I will not. Because the reason I cut my hair short is because I had to cut all the dead off. And I totally intend to grow it back out again because I do not look good with short hair. COVID couple, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I actually started going out with him like two weeks after he broke up with his shitty girlfriend. <laughs> and I was like, I gave him two weeks because I didn't want to be the rebound. But like, I saw it coming. Hello, so Reaper. How are you, darling? <gasps> All the pets. Thank you, IQ Epiphany. Um, so let's get into this. Let's see if I can not lose my mind at the fluff. Because <laughs> I am likely to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I do not regret dating my husband either the first or the second time. I do regret dating the girl that we were dating at the same time. Like, she was uh, horrible. It's all about... Uh, you bounce higher. Hell yeah. I actually had not... Aw, thank you, Soul Reaper. And I had actually not dated anybody since 2018 by that point. I was, like, comfy in my singleness. I was definitely like, and and that's that's something like I, I'll always talk about is how I was like dead ready to spend the rest of my life single because I was like, you know, I got my my fictional boys and I don't need no guy. And then my husband was like, "Hey, girl," and I just I folded so fast. <sighs> Wait, hold up, you dated a girl? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. I am panromantic demisexual, or flavors of asexual, but I'll date anybody if I like you enough. <laughs> Hi, Looney! How are you, darling? Oh, good morning! Hey, girl, let me hit you up. <laughs> You're adorable, Trash Panda. Um, I am also polyamorous, so... I basically just am like... Oh my fucking god, my keyboard died. The doctor was so mean. Oh, what do you mean, honey? What happened? You gotta tell me what happened, because now I'm like, I'm ready to get... He's gonna catch these hands. <laughs> Sounds complicated. You basically like... That treat you're new? I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need that elaborated... Um, I have all my fictional boys. I felt that. Hell yeah. Look, I'm still gonna simp over the fictional boys. Or the guys on TikTok. Like, there's a guy on TikTok my husband and I lovingly refer to as our shared boyfriend. Do we know him? No. Would we ever tell him? I've instructed him not to. <laughs> 
blood sample, but they couldn't find. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I eat the word treat, you know. <laughs> treat you good, no? Yeah, basically, how I prefer it is I am the kind of person who is aware that I am a needy suck no son of a bitch. So I completely vibe with the fact that Sometimes having one partner doesn't meet all the, the needs that I have because I am clingy. So I kind of, if my partner is willing, because I never want to force this on a partner. But if my partner is willing, we will wind up having a girlfriend or boyfriend. Preferably that we share. And I'm never like, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, well, I can have it, but I don't want you to date. And it's like, no. Um... So it took them four tries. Oh no. I got my fictional ladies, Lady Dimitrescu. <laughs> um uh, so I have all my fictional boys. Hell ye, hell ye, hell ye. Um you said yes, I am pro harem. <laughs> but preferably like everybody's dating each other. I have a friend that refers to it as um kitchen table polyamory. Basically like if you sat at us at a kitchen table and drew a line from one person to the next, that those two would be dating. It didn't matter like who those two people were that you drew the line between, everybody is dating each other. And we all share like for instance, if we live in one household, we all share responsibilities. My husband's fine with doing the dishes, but neither he nor I are really good at sweeping or mopping or vacuuming. So, like, if we had another partner who wasn't adverse to that, they would do that. That kind of stuff. <laughs> that sounds like a harem with extra steps, but okay. Okay, maybe it is a harem with extra steps. <laughs> oh, mm, uh, it's not... It's kind of open, but open implies that you guys have sex with people outside the relationship, but you don't necessarily date them. My husband and I are flavors of asexual where we only have sex with people that we are romantically, like, fully attracted to. And it takes us a long time to get there. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, whereas with... so polyamory we just basically want to date not have sex <laughs> you want to have somebody to talk to when he's passed out hell yeah hell yeah you got it um so Looney, i'm assuming they eventually got the blood draw what was the verdict if you're comfortable saying on stream you guys are swindlers basically <laughs> do you mean swingers um not bad uh <laughs> I guess we're just we're comfortable with uh and secure in our relationship and we're not gonna look for it but if like the right guy or the right girl came up and we were both interested like we'd go for it or if he like met a guy who was like you know real hot and really into him like i tell him to go for it because like i don't see why he shouldn't that is just my point of perspective like i get why most people are not into that it's just like something we're cool with i will say we're kind of like a He's fine with me. He doesn't really want another girlfriend. But if I were to date a girl and she was interested in him, he'd be down. Vice versa. Like, I don't necessarily need another boyfriend. But if a guy were dating him and be down with me. Yeah, same. Why haven't I hung you from Rim's? That's because I'm not active in Rim's Discord. Like, the only time I'm active in Rim's Discord is if we're in a VC. Just checking. See all the stats. Oh, yeah. Yes, thyroid. Thyroid is the, the name. And did... Okay, so they, they came out good. Good, good, good. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, is he your husband on paper or husband is a nickname? That tax reduction is Gucci, though. So we can't 
actually marry like legally um he's heavily disabled so he can't work and with the economy as it is it is not a financially good decision for us to get married because if he marries me on paper he will actually lose all of his benefits that being said i have the ring for like he proposed to me last uh this last december and we totally intend to get wedding bands as far as we are concerned we are husband and wife we'll have a ceremony but we can't be on paper married what the u.s is so weird it is so basically the way that disability laws were set up in america and have not been changed since is a disabled person yo that has layers of plot <laughs> indeed so the way that disability laws are set up here in america is that a disabled person is considered a burden to society and to their family therefore the disability money that they get is supposed to be kind of like an apology i guess to the people who take care of them and to fund any like medical bills that are not covered by like medicaid so basically if i married him it would be viewed as oh well now you're the primary person taking care of him so he doesn't need that anymore yeah you, you kind of see where that that's like fucked logic but comes in so yeah we can't get married basically bottom line and, and, and roll credits it doesn't really help either that i'm not able to work i have health problems that my doctors refuse to diagnose so i can't get that so what we're planning on doing and that's actually one of the things i meant to bring up in this stream is we're going to move to oregon where he is going to continue to get disability through the state of Oregon and I can get listed as his care which means my full-time job will be taking care of him probably at minimum wage but it will be enough to sustain our life and we can live comfortably without you know the stress of me trying to force myself through a job that is actively killing me which is why I had to quit my last job yo that's dumb I uh Yelp, welcome to the States. You would be his support full time. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. That's so fucked up. Yup, uh, brace though, because they're going to defund does because recession and embezzle. You're yeah, probably, but um, some disability, as far as I'm aware, is funded via state. And that's some of like the way Oregon works including me being listed as his care that's not a united states thing that's specifically an oregon thing which is why we're moving there it's really expensive to live there and it's going to be really expensive to move there which is something my husband and i are doing by streaming a lot is we're trying to raise enough money to move um we're currently at a like i think three percent of our goal a loony <laughs> um or not 3%, a third of a way through our goal. So, was that? Our, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do math. Don't ask me to do math. So, we're trying to save up to move because Oregon actually will, like, take care of him and take care of me. Um, and not everything that we will be relying on is federal. A lot of it is state not only that but the state i live in um my husband is not just disabled but trans and the state i currently live in is rolling back on a lot of lgbtq laws and disabled disability laws like it's getting dicey here don't do math not even once exactly i i, I mostly let him do math unless i'm panicking about it um and the state he lives in is not great because i feel like i can say this because my mother-in-law is probably at work um she's kind of abusive to him so yeah we're trying to get out and uh 
we've got some friends in the West Coast who are willing to help us out, who, like, are going to get us there. And we're going to pack up the dog, uh, pack up our computers, move our asses to Oregon and get settled in, get him listed for disability, get me listed as a care, get the state funded um, housing vouchers and just kind of try to live our life, you know? So, uh, <laughs> if you guys want to support uh, us in that aspect, I have a Kofi that um, if you guys want, I'll drop the link for. And pretty much all of the funds that go to that Kofi will be going towards the move. Hugs, sheesh. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a lot. So we're we're definitely doing what we can and we're just we're kind of focusing on that for now um we've made good headway so far we're like we're getting there but you know it's it's a lot of money we're gonna have to uh get set up and technically you know we could maybe make it work right now but um it would not be safe it would not be safe Thank you for the loves. The loves are always appreciated. I actually need to... I'm going to set up a command for the Kofi real quick. I love how we're like 36 minutes into this and I have not touched the art at all. <laughs> I might as well just make these just chatting streams because like I never do the art. Kofi. Uh, no, it's... Yeah, it's Kofi be there um do, 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 i'm so sorry y'all <laughs> um and stream alerts we're gonna quickly copy that this is gonna look weird just because uh, I can't get the fucking thing to work for it, but eventually I'll be able to make the image transparent. Because I can't right now. Even if you do the art, you undo it anyway. <laughs> Don't call me out like that. How rude. Just think of the end result. Hell yeah. that That's what we're going for. Um... This is also the only way that we wouldn't have to move like back and forth because our other option was to move constantly back and forth between the two states because he cannot get anything through my state. Like they're, they're just like, um, no, 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 why do you need that? Like just work. Like, you should just work. And it's like, that isn't how it works. So. Mm. So I'm going to do a custom command for Oregon. If I can spell Oregon. Because I never can spell it properly. Ugh. <sighs> You know what? I'll just make it move. Give me just a second to type that up.
Okay. Oof. Sorry. I must have blown out the mic with that. Uh, oregano. <laughs> Save thy work. I have not made any changes, so I'm not going to save it right now. Uh, <laughs> B to boarding school in that state, and I can't spell it. <laughs> Oregon shell check. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, I'm actually going to pen this for you guys. So. Oh my lord. Hold up. Hold up. That ain't good. No, 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 no. I ain't doing that. No way. Mm -mm. Look, I'm not going to have that space not there. Do I look like a fool? I was born. I was actually not even born at night. So, I was born in the morning. It am, actually. There we go. So, I'm going to pin that for you guys. So that if you, like want to keep track of it and you don't feel like using that at all times you can i'm a night child i'm a night owl but i was born at 8 a.m i don't know why it's the only time i've ever been on time <laughs> Ooh, excluding when i stream and i don't want to hear it that i just yawned i do not i am aware that i am pulling an all-nighter I can't sleep. I literally can't sleep. I'm. I have had too stressful a day. <laughs> I'm working on it though. We're getting better. We're with we're, 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 we're making good time and just trying our best. And I'm gonna put this on. Not a lighter color, a linear light. Thank you, darling. I can't send you to bed today. I haven't really slept this night. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm a child. I'm sorry that you've not slept though. I know how much you love to sleep. So. Okay. And sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh. Oh, my gosh. Can, thank you, War With Ashes, for watching three consecutive streams this month. I appreciate you. I will sleep later. Mm -hmm. You better. You deserve good sleep. I'm assuming based on that, you managed to, uh get home free from work which good uh so do you do i what do i what uh watch high school dxd and very slowly fall asleep no i don't want to <laughs> i actually can't i got too much shit to do bad I genuinely have a lot to do today. Why? Why does this always look like trash? <sighs> I hate the work I've done. Honestly. I might genuinely take a fucking break from doing the fluff to uh fuck to work on something else cause this is driving me absolutely out of my mind like like why why you gotta be so ugly Like, I'm working hard. She says, having read on this section about... Oh, for fuck's sake, it froze. 
I'm still on audio only. Till I get home. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, deserve good sleeves. Aw. Thank you. I... Like, intellectually, I know you're right, but, like, physically, I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm Gucci. I got too much shit to do. <sighs> I genuinely just have so much to get done today. Like... Y'all don't even know. I gotta clean. I gotta help out a friend. I gotta hang out with uh, said friend and a different friend. I gotta uh, work on this. <laughs> this train wreck. I gotta check in with a third friend to make sure that we're not like no longer friends. It's just like insane. It's it's maddening. Uh all the friends. Indeed, all the friends. Make a <laughs> No, I am not making a busty Lara Croft. I admire your desire for it though. But I don't I don't I don't do busty on this. I barely am comfortable talking about like certain topics via sex. Like I'm just not here for that. That looks god awful. There's a part of me that's just like leave it unshaded, like fuck it. <laughs> And the thing is, is, I bet if I asked my friend what they would be cool with, they'd say leave it unshaded. And I mean, uh, <clears throat> come on, come on, lol. Just kidding, just kidding. Thank you for the tone indicator. <sighs> and I appreciate the tenacity, but no. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm not really into drawing busty characters currently. I say currently because I have in the past. I'm telling you, most people wouldn't even notice if it's shaded or not. <laughs> I know, but I care. I care. I I want it to look, like, pretty. Why did I just get the sound of something unplugging? What the fuck unplugged? Okay, now my internet, so I don't care. <laughs> as long as everything works, I don't care. <laughs> I'll find out later when something doesn't work. And I do care at that point. And then I'll be like salty. And it'll be fine. Because I will have decided I don't care. <laughs> you draw eight hours for it to be looked at. Nine seconds, unfortunately. I disagree. I I love looking at your art. So, yeah. And at least for my husband's art, you or from the art you did of my husband, that's gonna get looked at every day. So, <laughs> but I do I I do agree that I feel like a lot of the art that I'm working on here is going to get missed just because. It it's gonna be in a tiny little corner of a stream. So I mean I can I can hope. I can dream.
why did that work so well? Like, I can't shade fluff, but apparently I can shade that. Like, that looks fantastic. What the fuck? <laughs> that came together so well. Yeah, I'm just not going to try and draw the fluff. I'll figure out how to shade fluff another time. Because <laughs> I ain't going to do that. Because, like, it took me so goddamn long. And then the fluff was, like, never working out. And then I do that and it gets done in, like two seconds flat so like mm. okay so we're gonna do pentacle light and shade now fluff seems very hard indeed I, it kind of is like a lot like, I feel like it has to be very soft, but then it also has to be very dark because this is a very dark lighting situation and I'm just like, ah! So I'm just not going to deal with it anymore. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I don't think that, uh, 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 uh Rim will care. Like, I genuinely feel like they're going to be like, yo, why'd you spend that long on it? Like, you're fine. And I'm going to be like, I thought you'd care. <laughs> and they'll, they'll, they'll just face ball. Like, they'll be like, girl, why? So... We're just not going to worry about that anymore. <laughs> um, Lex, it's not on paper. You can't make min mistakes or too many. I mean, I think that depends. I think that genuinely depends. So, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because, like, for me, it always feels like it's this huge, horrible mistake. And then everybody goes, actually, that looked fine. With the exception of once I was shading a fluff and everybody was like, that looks like cream corn. <laughs> and it felt like the end of the world. I was like, no! So... <laughs> So, um, hold on. Let me test something because my, um, my dumb butt is like needing to see things. Where is my mouse? Oh, y'all, I think I just found the thing that unconnected. Oh. It disconnected because my fucking mouse is dead. So we're going to charge it for 0 0.2 seconds and then continue what I was trying to do. Because, you know, uh, the true artist. <laughs> I don't know what that was in reference to, but thank you, maybe. You know, I think I'm probably waking my mom up, <laughs> which is kind of awful because she went to bed like an hour and a half ago, maybe. <laughs> Oops. I need to try and be a little quieter. Ew it. Whoopsies. And doot doot. 
do, do. Uh, your level of detail matters to you, the aesthetics. Fuck yeah. Like, I'll be honest, um, Oh God. Who who were you? The 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 person who said that I reminded them of Draculaura. Trying to remember. <laughs> Speak up because I can't scroll up. It was like Lord Metter Mart Medic. I don't think so though. <laughs> Honey, if you're still here, can you just speak up? Because I, I don't remember your name. I feel horrible. <laughs> I'm bad with names. <laughs> like, I'll be honest. If you guys were to, like, not hang out for a while, I would forget. <laughs> and I hate that about myself. Because, like, I genuinely like the people who come to my streams, who, like hang out with me, all of that, but, like, like, there are days I forget my best friend's real name, because I'm so used to her screen name, even though I met her knowing her real name, <laughs> so, that's the level of idiocy we're working with, I am the definition of bimbo core. I want my mouse to finish, like, loading so that I can look up to see who, like, said I look like Draculaura. Because I don't think they're still in chat. I don't know. I could be wrong. Sometimes I forget the names of the kids in front of me. You get it then. Mm. Why isn't my mouse working? Like, bruh. Bra. Okay, let's see if that works. Then I remember the name of the guy. <laughs> yo, yo. That's about right. <gasps> now my mouse is working. Let's see. Who who was it? Lord Merrick. Okay, I almost got it. I almost got it. So. <laughs> I don't remember why I wanted to uh <laughs> to see who it was. Oops. And yeah, it doesn't look like they're still in chat. Oh well. It was one having a mirror. Or at least users in chat is telling me they're not here. But users in chat is never I can wait. Like. So. Well. It kind of works. <laughs> that was not an actual donation, by the way. That was me testing a thing. So. At least I don't think so. Checks notifications just in case. Okay, no. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh oh wait. I'm gonna put it at a dollar so that 
Like, if you guys only have a dollar, you can do that. I'll be home soon. Yay! Good luck on getting home. That was delayed. Oops. <laughs> that just got rid of it, I feel like. Let's try this. Can you go? <laughs> I would. I would 100% like call your work and say you can't come in. And honestly, like if I pretend to be you, they believe it because I will guarantee our voices do not sound the same. They'll be like, oh my gosh, are you dying? <laughs> and I'll be like, yes. <laughs> Oh, God. Also, the fact that you wouldn't speak. I'd use Google Translate. <laughs> or you could prep me a script. You know. My bad pronunciation could add to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Britchin? Did I get it right that time? <laughs> Cause see, you specifically Calvion has made me so like terrified now that I I feel like I have to say it properly. <laughs> There's been this like spot on my tablet for days. I'm getting it off now because it's like eh. Eh. oops. <sighs> Let's fix that. Okay, and now we add more shading and light. Looney, did I get Spretchen right? <laughs> or are you doing everything but the art? Hey, I'm actually doing the art for once. Like, you can't see it because you're in the car, but I am genuinely doing the act. No, but it's cute. Me. I'll just go back to saying Sprecken. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I'm genuinely trying, but I'm just bad at languages. My husband's the good one with languages, and he he'd never learned German, so... Car, uh, you said you were going home, and I do. I assumed you were in a car, and then I now realize that I think cars are really only a thing in the U.S. Question mark. I say completely unconfidently. I walk everywhere. Oh, so wait, you're walking home? Because that would make sense. I just assumed you either, you you like took the train everywhere. I don't know why. Like I I have no idea why that was like my first assumption. Mm. I always get the wrong one. Ew. 
If it's too far, then train, yes. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. No, I didn't actually want to blend that much. So we're going to blur instead. Okay, well that worked on the light, but not the shade. So... I feel like everybody was really active when I wasn't doing the art, and then I started doing the art, and none of you started talking. <laughs> Would you guys just, like, rather I do a just chatting stream? Oh, like, I have to know. I'm a big fan of walking. See, I am, but then I never go anywhere, so I just wind up not. Oops. Okay. Why why is there already a clip? What did you guys clip? <gasps> oh my gosh. You guys. Mm -mm. Let's take a walk together. Fuck yeah. I'm down. We'll be walking buds. <laughs> walking buds club. Oops. Weird. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> How does that look? That looks pretty good. Okay. Honestly, we might transition to just chatting just because I am so during the pandemic I had an online work. Aww. See, that's really sweet and cute. I'd a hundred percent do that too. Like, let's do it. Yeah, it can be sweet sometimes. I, yeah, valid. Mm -hmm. I would believe it. Honestly, I think you're always sweet, but that's just me. <laughs> Actually, I think that's Haywire and my husband, too. And, like, 95% of the people who meet you. But... <laughs> I am going to be a yawning mess. I need to drink more energy drink. Haywire is the best. Fuck yeah, he is. I miss him. He needs to talk to me more often. My friend Alicia wants to talk to him, which uh, that's nerve wracking for me, personally. And I'm not going to elaborate. There we go. Little blend flame is a little bigger. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Let's make Boobert a little bigger too. Because I don't want them all to be the same size. Because 
That makes it a little bit boring. Okay, I'll be back soon. I have to make the call. You good luck. Best of luck, dear. What is everyone else up to? Mm -mm. How we doing? Also, we were discussing animes. So, what is your favorite anime? And what's the one you are currently obsessed over? Hi, sheep. How are you, darling? Isn't it, like, very early where you are? Did you get any sleep at all? Nope. Oh, brave. Get sleeps. Don't worry. I will yawn my head off until you eventually go to sleep. So it's fine. There we go. <laughs> I got COVID. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, I'll mention something about that. Are you going to be okay? Like, motherly worry intensifies. Um, let's, let, let's make this a little bit darker. Yeah, just like a bad cold. Oh. Well, I'm glad it sounds like you've got a mild case, but still. I wish you felt better. Hopefully you will later. Um, ba -da 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 -da. Oh, they are so mad. Oh, no. Mad how, darling? What happened? This is him. I'm going to be bored. I'm oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I hope you win lots of matches and that uh, you enjoy me being the soundtrack to your Fortnite playing. Because I miss too much work. <sighs> mm. Well, that depends on how much is quote unquote too much. But also, like, it's not your fault. So, like... Like, as somebody who's been in the situation where my job basically screamed at me because 
I called out too many times. Like, fuck them. I don't play Battle Royale. <laughs> don't care to. Valid. Well, then I hope you have good games. <laughs> Oops, so immune. Ew. Well, I'm glad you're immune. I do be missing a lot. I know that. Well, I think the problem that I'd ask is how do I elaborate this? Is the problem one that can be solved without, like, you being in actual turmoil. I'm realizing I don't know how to do the Batman symbol. Because I'm a strong advocate of if your job is killing you, quit it. But I think that's because I have spent way too many years trying to, like, do jobs that were killing me. So, my, like, feelings on that are... Maybe unhealthy, honestly. I can't quit. I don't know what else to do. Like, career-wise or life-wise? There we go. There's the Batman logo. I'm just going to copy paste. Because your girl can't draw Batman logos. And like. I can't attempt. I, but I do a shitty fucking job. Shortcuts people. Hey, they make the world go round. Did I just copy instead of paste? Fuck. Paste. There we go. Why is it black? Ugh. She copies a transparent image at paste it and the program goes, Hey, you wanted that to have a black background. Right? Like, no. No, I did not. Here we go. Problem is I can't go to it. Oh. I get being scared to do that, yeah. Oh and the ones transparent. I think it's just that with ears that are extra. Well see, there's your problem. I can't draw a bat either. Despite loving them. And I am I am hyper aware of being scared to go to a doctor and be like, hey, I've got a problem. Can we maybe look at that? So, like, I get it. Like, I spent a year trying to get a doctor to just fucking listen to me, and she never did. So. Although I don't know if it's the same situation there. Like, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe a doc for you would be a little bit helpful. but You know. Again, I vouch for you being a... Like, going to the doc. Seeing if they can assist. But... I'm also like... 
completely aware of that potentially not being an option. Hi, baby. Thank you for the hundred biddies. What are you doing awake at 4.20 a.m.? But also, a listen. Last doctor I went to. Wow. Please tell me you went to a different doctor. Jesus fucking Christ. A bio break? It better be a short bio break and Leon better not be on the phone with you. Um, have you heard the thing about Adobe? What thing? Now back to sleep. I love you too. Mwah. That came out way too like... <laughs> Sorry. Oops. I'm going to have to like darken this up significantly. Yeah, so stop going there after that. I'd rather work with them than talk to a racist. That's valid and fair, and I concur vehemently. Um, I do think like you should see if you can find a different doc who isn't a, a, a flaming racist. And see, like, if they can help you. But, I don't know. Again, it's not really my place. So, I don't know how much of my advice you want to hear. And I am extremely biased. So. Because... My thing is, is like, I don't like talking to doctors either. And to some degree, like, I don't trust doctors. But I'm also like hyper aware that the doctors here are completely different from the doctors there. So, mm -hmm. ooh, AI generated. Uh, what TRA? Wow! I am on many, many waiting lists. Ew. Well, hopefully those those waiting lists, like, find their way to being shorter. Um. Mm -hmm. My baby. Who's probably gone by now. So that kiss was just directed at the rest of you. Which I apologize for. Um, <clears throat> Honestly. It doesn't surprise me. Adobe is. How does one say this politely? Nah. Fuck it. They don't deserve it. Adobe is a piece of shit. And I hope that they go bankrupt and have to sell. Um, to a company that makes their program of buy once sort of deal. Because they are an overpriced garbage uh, scam. <laughs> Ew, no. A, you're too young. And B, you are too sick. <laughs> Yeah, definitely need to. Uh, yeah. I will say check to see what kind of subscription you've got. Because if you, like, have certain kinds of subscriptions, they will just charge you so fucking much. Like, they, I tried to cancel my subscription when they started to, like, absolutely suck me dry. And they charged me like six hundred dollars and i had to report my card stolen and have them put holds and stops on any adobe uh fucking like charges because uh yeah
Yes, literally all of it. Uh, upvote, retweet, but repost, thumbs up. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Just Adobe is a piece of shit. And I hope their stocks crash. I feel like I'm getting ASMR. Oh, you're a hundred percent getting ASMR at this point. <laughs> Pretty much all of these art streams wind up being ASMR because they're all done when my mom is asleep. So your girl has to be extra quiet. <laughs> 140 pounds, and I barely even used it. Uh, yeah, yeah, get get rid of that junk. I'll honestly, the next time that I want to use a photoshop program i will see if i can find like an old copy in like a store somewhere that was free or, or not that was free that was a purchase once type deal i don't even know if like you can still find those but like that's gonna be my gem because fuck adobe Fuck Adobe. Like, I loved their program and I used it religiously. And to be honest, like, I don't know if I would use it anymore because I I kind of switched to this program, but I haven't done art for so long that I don't even know what programs I like anymore. I'm just like forcing myself to use this one a lot because I it you know, I need to get used to it. But at the same time, like, I'm finding it a hell of a lot easier to use than a, a Photoshop. Or not easier to use. I'm finding it pretty much the same to use. Uh, some of the brushes are, like, annoying, but, like, they at least have a blend brush. I just renewed it a few days ago. Fuck! I'm so sorry, Looney. I'm so sorry, Looney. Ew. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. How did you make that, like, italicized? I would also not recommend that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete that. Because I'm gonna post this VOD to YouTube. And I don't want you getting arrested. But also say, actually, no. No, because I don't think that, like, I honestly don't think admitting that you'd get a cracked version of Photoshop is, like, a huge deal anymore. Because, like, there are bigger thefts than that. <sighs> and, like, Adobe is corrupt as shit. But also, who they got police in that shit? They probably barely even have a PR. Or PR. HR. Like. Mm. There we go. It's an old version of Photoshop too anyway. Yeah. That's valid. That is valid. So wait. Uh, Looney. What's the verdict on getting rid of it? Like are you able to? Or are they going to try and suck you dry for a couple more months? Or are they going to try and charge you, like, an insane amount to cancel it? If it's one of them a week, you should be free. See, here's a problem. If you aren't careful with the one that you subscribe to... They will charge you for the entire year and take the program away. Which is what they did to me. 
because like they have this fine print that most people don't see where uh if you cancel before the year of doing your like using the program and paying for the program monthly is up they can charge you the cost of the year plus like inconvenience fees and also take the program away it's fucking wild it's also bad shit but I paid for a year in advance a couple days ago so I still have it oh, wow I mean that that sucks but it you know I have mine until October and I'm really hoping like I'm I'm gonna see about using it again because you know I paid for it but I'm really hoping that I find myself not liking it anymore like since I started using this because um just yeah I don't I don't want to like the program that is so expensive and also doesn't work very well. You know? There we go. Or doesn't not doesn't work very well. That is also scammy. That's the word I was looking for. Uh me has Photoshop on pleasure. I can't take that away from me. Um, yeah, yeah. You only think uh, more options for text. Uh, Clip Studio Paint has, like, a ton of options, if I remember correctly, so... Uh, no. What? 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 Also, that... That, I'm realizing, makes them just look gold, which... <laughs> okay, how did I even get on the wrong layer? Did anything move? It doesn't look like it. I think we're good? Question mark? Confusion? Worry? Yeah, hold on. I'll show you. So, let me zoom into an area that doesn't have it. So, so as long as you have the uh, thing, like the font that you want on your computer, you can just change into that so like i'm obsessed with fonts so i have like a ton of these so uh and then of course you can change the color uh italicize it bold it like anything you would be able to do in uh like a word pro uh, program you can also, like, mm, there we go, make it larger, make it smaller. Scale and rotate it. Ta-da! Oh my god, it literally renewed March <gasps> three days ago? Oh, you poor thing. That sucks. 
I literally use. See. Yeah. MS Paint sucks. But also like. I probably would get a ton of use out of it. Because I'm obsessed with art programs like. Uh, I have an intense obsession with collecting as many fucking um, art programs as possible. Like, the second I get an iPad, which I'm trying to save up for, I don't know if it's gonna work out, um, I plan on getting Premiere, or not Premiere, uh, oh god. Looney, what's the program's name? I don't remember. Procreate, thank you. <laughs> I was so fucking whiny. I'm sorry. Poor Looney dealing with my bullshit. Although, can you imagine what a uh, star has to deal with? Like, I feel bad. I feel so bad that he's decided to to be with me for the rest of his life like whatever got into him what is wrong with this man that he he does not listen to his uh like better senses Although, to be fair, he's had worse taste in the past. So, I think I'm a step in, in, in a better direction than that. I'm not great, but I'm not the worst. I get the feeling to, like, can't you see your... <laughs> see? Yeah, same! Maybe common sense. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> like. And then he's just like. Because you're the one I want babe. And I'm like why? Why wouldn't you go with so many better? There's so many options. Like, sometimes I feel like he's got blinders on for me. And then I remember he's known me for 15 years. He knows all my faults. And he still loves me. And I wonder what's wrong with him. Mm. <laughs> I am not, but thank you. You're very sweet. I am garbage at the bottom of the pool, and he has decided he would rather drown than be without me. And I don't know why. <laughs> I do not know why. Maybe, maybe one day I'll see what he sees. I'd like to. My God, did I just get a TikTok song stuck in my head? Ugh, what have I come to? Okay. So, I'm actually going to use a very dark version of this. 
to start the shading process. And I'm just gonna do that. Whoa, that was not what I wanted. Great brush though. I'm excited to continue using it at some point. Uh, I, 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 all of you got so quiet. <laughs> I hope I didn't make you guys uncomfortable. I probably did. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, I'm not quiet. Yeah, you are. You, you, you like just stuffed. You got stuffed. I really hope me going stuffed makes sense to somebody. Maybe you just not listening. Oh, I've been trying to say this since I started getting the money. So <laughs> never. Well, I'll repost it. Oh, chat might be bugged. I think it was. No, just checking all the subscriptions. Good idea. Yeah, I didn't. I did not see that. I've never felt a connection. With well, you're also fairly young. Like I was pretty sure I was Aro for a while, um, because I I didn't get to see my husband. Um, so it's easy for me to see the connections, so I can see the connection between the two of you quite clearly. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Also, I just realized that the way I said that makes it sound like, oh, well, you don't know yet. Like, no. If you, th if, if you genuinely feel like you're ROAs, or if you're RO, then you're RO. Like, I don't know you. I don't know what's in your head. Um, I was saying that for me, I was, when I was your age, I was like, am I a arrow? Because, like, none of these guys make any fucking sense to me. And then I realized I was dating assholes. <laughs> so. Uh, a romantic. Yeah. That. So, mm, like, well, I'm not hot, so I'm not ace. Okay. Okay. So, you could be a, uh, like, RO hetero. And it could also be that you've not met someone you have that connection with. Because, like, you could be demi romantic, uh, heterosexual. Or, like, demi romantic. Bisexual, like, eh. It's a revolving door. You'll like if you th if you feel aromantic, that's great. That's cool. I'm too old for these terms. <laughs> Taking notes. So, a quick rundown: aro like aromantic or arosexual basically is well, no. Aromantic is specifically for romance. So that basically no romantic attraction. Which. I can see. I can see that for sheep. For you sheep. Um, I am demi-romantic. Er. Sorry. Pan-romantic. Demisexual. So. Panromantic or pansexual means don't give a shit. Like you could be green and bleeping. So sexual and or romantic, but I vibe with guys really well. But he's <laughs> so that could be um 
bisexual, but leaning more on the spectrum towards care to being interested in women. Because I am pan romantic, but if you ask me like what I would wind up being more interested in, I'd say women, because women are hot. Like, have you seen women? Like, oof. Um, if I like, I'm dating a trans man. I have hot attraction towards men, so like. I know that that's not my only thing. No, I have not. I'm lying. <laughs> You're hilarious, sheep. I love you. Um, there, uh, demi romantic or demisexual means that you have to form like a familial connection or like be friends with somebody and know who they are and have built trust with them to actually want them either romantically or sexually. Typically, the prefix will tell you, like, what it is. So, like, demi means wanting to know the person better. Romantic or sexual tells you what the, the situation is. Most people, their sexuality um, is also their romantic, like, sense, sensibility. So, a lot of people won't say, like, I'm heteroromantic, heterosexual. They'll just say I'm heterosexual or straight. Uh, if you didn't know, <laughs> if you didn't know, then I just mansplained and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, asexual meaning or a, a romantic meaning not feeling that at all actually has a bunch of umbrella. It, it, it's like its own umbrella. So like you can be allosexual or alloromantic, which is, you know, having a sense of sexuality or having a sense of romanticism towards a gender or a type. Asexuality or aromanticism is actually an umbrella term for varying different sexualities and romantic sensibilities, which a lot of people don't actually realize. Like, demisexual and demiromantic is becoming like a more talked about thing but there's a lot of different ones. We're going to take a pause from art because I am obsessed with this topic. So, uh, uh, I, I just, mm, I love talking about sexualities because I am one of those people who like falls down a rabbit hole and I just like, So, give me just a second. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Looney. Am I am I being too much? Am I being too much? Do I need to slow down? I feel bad. <laughs> uh, here it is. So, asexual spectrum identities. Here it is. So, a lot of people tend to just shorten it to asexual. Like, if you ask me, layman's terms, what I am, I'll say ace. I'll say I'm asexual. Because it's, it's a lot to ask someone to, uh, like, learn all the terms. But if somebody were to ask me and, like, genuinely want to know, like, I'd say I was demisexual. Because I am. Um, but, like, I don't expect anyone to know the full thing. I really don't. Because that's a lot to ask. That's a lot to ask. So, um... Okay, so this one, uh, to be killier, I, have, I will do the thing with women as that's what I prefer. I don't truly love anyone unless I get to know them or otherwise we also do feel shallow. It is so long, long day. I am just confused to say the least. Okay, let's go down. Um, we'll start with romanticism and then we'll go to sexual sexualities because like I said, 
I'm obsessed with this. You guys can't even see, but I'm gesturing a ton because I do that when I get excited. I wonder what I am. Well, we'll 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 go through the list and maybe you'll you'll figure it out. So, our romantic is a spectrum. Most sexualities are. Um, now, most of them don't go into specifics like bisexuality. You like both men and women. You classify it as men and women. And you might lean one way or another, but there's not really a terminology as far as I'm aware for if you lean more towards liking men or liking women. Like I'm pan romantic, but I don't typically say I'm pan romantic female leaning. Or I could say that. Like I'd say it like that. There's not like its own, um, like subsect (laughs) they don't get that precise but there's a lot that you can say so um we'll go first with our romantic and then we'll go with asexuals or asexuality because again that's its own thing so our romanticism you don't experience romantic attraction towards people of any gender basically you just don't you 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 don't experience romance at all like you don't get it i have an aunt who's like that uh she had a boyfriend once bring her like she walked in and he had a stuffed pig and was surrounded by roses and she went oh swine and roses and he was really excited because she got it Because it was apparently a joke. I don't get it. It was, she's much older than me. (laughs) I assume it's like a a, a like really old thing, but I don't know. Thank you for telling me to save my work. I shall do so. But regardless, um, she didn't get it. Like she doesn't understand dates. She doesn't understand um, bringing someone flowers. Like she knows that you do it. But she doesn't experience the delight. She doesn't have a love language, so to speak. Um, So romance, it's just not a thing she gets. It's not something she wants. She doesn't like it. Demi-romanticism. You don't experience romantic attraction unless an emotional bond has already formed with them. And that can be like, I don't understand love at freaking all but scientifically i see how it works see that that would be a romantic yeah um well i can't really tell you what your romantic attraction or sexual attraction is that's your own thing that's pretty much going to be my thing on that so if you identify as our romantic cool you're our romantic until you decide otherwise if you ever decide otherwise awesome (laughs) um but that's basically like you don't feel romantic attraction demi-romanticism you generally don't experience romantic attraction unless an emotional bond has already formed so, oh, I know, I kind of fumbled between Demi and Ara. Yeah. Um. So with Demi romanticism, it is really just like a. For me, with sexuality, I'm not romantic. I'm like I said, I'm pan romantic, but I would see it as you have to know the person already, you have to trust them, and you have to like find it enjoyable to be around them before you might experience romantic attraction um reciprocism which is ugh, a tongue twister to say um you generally don't experience romantic attraction um unless it is towards someone one um you don't genuinely generally don't experience romantic attraction you might experience romantic attraction towards someone you want someone this is worded weird so it's fucking with my head toward someone once you realize they experience romantic attraction towards you so basically uh reciprocism is oh wait you like me okay yeah i could i i like you but like it wasn't ever a thought beforehand and 
that's one I find a little interesting. Um, and I think it's, honestly, it's a much easier, like, romanticism than I can think of. Because, like, it's really hard to get hurt when you don't like someone until they already like you. What? Don't do what? That's how I got screwed three times. What do you mean, sheep? Because, oh, I think I should clarify. Reciprocanticism is not the same as being like, oh, well, since you like me, I guess I'll be with you. That is a completely different thing. Reciprocanticism is you don't necessarily think about romantic connections with other people until they have I'm sorry, my cat just screamed at me in the most plaintive voice ever. Um, Reciprocanticism isn't like that because it, it, it's a case of not thinking about romantic attraction until somebody has already expressed some sort of romantic attraction. And then there's still a possibility that they don't reciprocate that romantic attraction. They might, after finding out that person experiences romantic attraction towards them i don't know if i'm explaining it correctly but it's a difference between well since you like me i guess i'll date you just to see if i grow feelings and oh you like me yeah you're kind of cute okay like it's a completely different vibe you were like Oh, I like you. And I was like, wait, this is like a cool person. And then they were shot off. I am. See. That I think is going to be the case with any relationship, period. Like. Knowing somebody platonically and knowing somebody romantically or sexually is completely different. It's a completely different vibe. So you might like your your platonic relationship might be fine and then the second it gets romantic it all goes south so it kind of depends on the person and i don't think that that's i think that that situation is one that's very fucking common with um asexuals specifically um but there are some people that use romance as a way to manipulate that's not all people and it, I think it doesn't matter what romantic attraction you feel or sexual attraction you feel I think that those people are going to try and do that no matter what <laughs> loony taking notes <laughs> um QPO romanticism you don't experience romantic attraction but desire a romantic uh, relationship so ooh. Give me a sec. I've got a bug that's just buzzing around me. And it's freaking me out. Because I don't like bugs. I'm terrified of bugs. I think I got it. If I didn't, it has stopped. I hope he came up on the mic at that time. You should play grounded. Absolutely. I will definitely do that at some point. Because I do own the game. If you hear me clapping, it's me trying to kill the bug that is decided it likes my uh, monitors because they're lights. We heard kitty talk. <laughs> I was literally trying to see if he could. <laughs> He's been screaming at me for a little bit. He wants me to go to bed. Not because he thinks I should sleep, but because he wants pets. Um, manipulative people are everywhere and they are awful. Grounded is absolutely fun. I do enjoy it and I will definitely play it on stream. Um, so QPO romanticism is an interesting one because I think it 
it's a hard one for me to understand, but I think it kind of falls under the stipulation of I want that security of being in a romantic relationship. I want the um the things that come with a relation a romantic relationship, even if I don't personally feel that connection. Which, you know, okay. Uh, I got no more comments on that. This one's going to be difficult for me to uh, say. So, buckle in, folks. I am Vanoro Romanticism. I'm Vano romanticism, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and that one. And then people existed and I no longer wanted it. I feel that. Um, you don't have the desire to show romantic affection for someone, but you have the desire to receive some. So that is basically, I don't want to or know how to show. Like, I don't have a love language. I don't really want to try and make a love language but I I want to receive love that's kind of how that works um and it actually works really well if you wind up with if those people wind up with the next one on the list which is curio roman uh queer romanticism I don't know how to pronounce it but basically it it's when oh wait no, sorry. That's a different one. Hold up. Give me a sec. Um, oh, here it is. So, I will get to queer romanticism in a second. The one I was thinking of that kind of scrolling intensifies. It was not scrolling. I'm looking at one image and I'm trying to look because there's like eight or pen or something um one two three four five six seven eight so 16 and i was like trying to figure out which one amongst the 16 was placio uh ro romanticism which is the companion to i am van all romanticism um placio ro romanticism is not having the desire to receive romantic affection but wanting to show some so that's a case of like, not having a receival love language. Like, when somebody's romantic towards you, it kind of goes over your head. It's not, like, something that... Um, when I use you, by the way, in these sentences, they are... It is the royal you. It is not necessarily to anyone in chat. Um, but it's... Um, not like... It's when... Yeah, it's generalized. Uh, mm -hmm. so it's when you don't really feel like love when reciprocated but you do want to show love to somebody else like you have a love language towards somebody else but you don't have really like a love language for them to show you you just don't get it so the two of those go really well together they are a little bit uh like trying to find a needle in a haystack but if the two of them find each other it's like chef's kiss so queer romanticism you can't tell whether or not you experience romantic attraction or you can't tell what kind of attraction you experience it's literally i don't know what the fuck is going on <laughs> Like, that's that's literally just like, I have no idea what's going on. Nobody asked me any questions. <laughs> okay, maybe you're queer romantic. <laughs> um, it, it Honestly, I think it's kind of like, when you say you're agnostic, if referring to religion, like, you don't really know what you believe yet. You're still kind of like hedging it. Um, and some people just, permanently are queer romantic like they don't know when they are interested in someone romantically hello iq epiphany um 
Welcome back. And currently we are discussing aromantic spectrums and asexual spectrums. So you come in at an interesting point. How are you, darling? What were you up to? <laughs> uh, uh, while we're getting Epiphany's response. Uh, this one is hilarious to say. Abro romanticism. <laughs> Your romantic orientation is fluid and or often changes. So kind of like um, gender fluid. Essentially, like your romantic attraction depends on the person and the time frame. And it can swap from one thing to another. A bro romantics. <laughs> Literally. I tend to do that, lol. What do you mean? <laughs> Explain yourself. Um, agroromanticism, you experience a disconnection between yourself and the object of your romantic attraction and or romantic fantasy. So that was a little difficult for me to understand. Um, I presume it means that like when you are romantically interested in someone, it feels like they're five feet away. I don't know. I tend to pop in his dreams at weird times. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is like an interesting one. Um, I hope that you enjoy it. What were you up to? Were you just like watching a different stream, or was there something fun happening, or something horrible? In which case, I'm so sorry. Um, I will say I'm uh, what I'm looking at is a bunch of flags with definitions, and I think my favorite ones have to be. Uh, cupio romanticism, which is gray, purple, white, pink, all in the same saturation, which is a pastel. Um, Abro romanticism, which is uh, like a like a pastel lime green, and then a fainter green, and then a white, and then a faint pink, and a hot pink, <laughs> and it's great. And then Ro flux, which we'll get to looks like a fucking watermelon <laughs> I don't know where this knowledge come from but like I understood that one super well uh agro romanticism I mean sometimes they make sense what's your understanding for that one because it's one that I'm struggling to I uh, buddy a buddy called me to tell me that the 3ds and Wii U shop is sh <gasps> Oh, that sucks. Fuck. The one dealing with mental distance. Yeah, so that's agro romanticism. So, like, how would you describe that? Because I'm kind of struggling because I don't understand it. Oh, my knees feel awful. I am 100% bleeding on this chair. <laughs> Just girl things. Um, while you're typing that out and everybody's going, because I dare to talk about bo a female body. Um, uh, gray aromanticism, by the way, that was not me being judgmental. That was me throwing shade at myself. Um, gray aromanticism, you rarely experience romantic attraction and or only under certain circumstances and or you experience romantic attraction without the desire to act on it. That was a mouthful. Um, my understanding of gray air romanticism is similar to like demi or reciprocal romanticism or reciprocal wherein your romantic attraction is dependent on very specific circumstances, or you can experience it, but you don't want to do anything about it. Like, you, you're fine with feeling it and not doing anything with it. Which, you know, valid. Uh, Frey romanticism. You might experience romantic attraction towards someone you just met, but once you get to know them better, the romantic attraction will fade slash disappear. So, pretty much it's the, ooh, shiny, you're kind of cute. Uh, never mind. Basically, like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the tea analogy but it's like enjoying the tea at the first sip and then about halfway through the cup going actually 
no, I don't really want tea anymore. So, you are far from what you love. You're separate and think like you have a dollhouse. You are the child and the people. Oh. Yeah. I think it's still like romantic love. But yeah, I, I think I think I get what you're saying. And yeah, that makes sense when put into those terms. Um So yeah, thank you. Akri Oh god, this is another one that I'm gonna struggle to pronounce. A lot of these I'm going to struggle to pronounce because they are weirdly like written. Ako e Ako e romanticism. You might experience romantic attraction towards someone but not want or need them to reciprocate your feelings and you might just lose your romantic attraction towards them if they do so basically i want what i can't have but once it wants me back i don't really, i'm not really interested in it now <laughs> <laughs> yes you so i think i think that's another one that would either really go well with um um, da, 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 da. what was the one? Cupio romanticism doesn't experience romantic attraction, but wants a romantic relationship. I think the two of those could go really well together if they found each other. So, I always like pairing roman uh, r romantic identities and sexualities because they're always like one that flips. Um. I already went over placeo -ro romanticism. That's basically desire to receive romantic affection is not there, but you want to show some. So, uh, idem romanticism. You can't tell whether you experience romantic attraction or platonic attraction and distinguish them by using other factors. So basically, a these look exactly. These are the same card. I'm gonna need you to tell me the dates. Type of deal. Um, or these are the same picture. You'll have to tell me who's in them. Um, and I don't know how else to explain that. Okay, but I'm scooping from quite a, a few of these buckets. I think that in that case, like, obviously kind of go with the umbrella of our romanticism because most people are not going to know all of these. You so me <laughs> where did i lose you i can i, I can either repeat myself or <laughs> i can go back if you guys want me to or i can just keep going and either you guys can catch up or just amuse in me ranting um but to sheep i think am i the only one following possibly honey um queer romanticism might suit you best if you're like looking at a <laughs> a bunch of these and going that might be me because that's the one where uh you can't tell yet um and it 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 genuinely might be a case of like needing a couple more years and looking through it to know specifically uh like, I think if you're scooping from a couple of these, I don't think that you would be specifically aromantic. I could be wrong. Again, it is entirely up to you what your sexuality and romanticism is. I got no say in it. I can only, like, advise on the terminology. I keep going, I am a lost cause. Oh, honey, I feel that. If it makes any of you feel any better, I only remember the one that suits me, which is Demi sexual uh panromantic i do not remember anything else <laughs> like you could ask me hey what's xyz and i'd be like Ooh. i know it exists i never remember what it is um no v romantic your romantic orientation cannot be explained with words actually that one might suit you sheep i only remember our own ace i remember it only because I am, if that makes sense. Like, I memorized it because that was me. Um, me when love. <laughs> yeah. So, no V, no V romantic. That, that's possibly you. All I know is my pronouns are I am confused. 
Okay, that's funny. I cute, Epiphany. I love that. I love you. Um, so this is another one that you might vibe with, and this is Aro Flux, which is romantic attraction fluctuates between different levels of aromantic and alloromantic. So basically not feeling any romantic attraction and feeling normal romantic attraction. Yep, that's me. Which one? Novi Romantic or Aroflux? Now, this is the one that I also can easily remember because this is the one that is what most people think of when they think of romantic, uh, aromanticism or arosexual, and it really annoys me because it's not the same thing. Apotheromanticism. You don't experience romantic attraction and are romance repulsed. So basically that's, ew, I don't want to, no, nobody loved me. That's gross. Ugh. I see. I'm very flux. I'm a wild card. I am the ace of the deck. Okay. You're Aro Flux then. So, uh, I do have, uh, the asexuality spectrum as well. But I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, I need to actually find a different one because that's not the right one. Ah, here it is. Uh, I will go ahead and let you guys know some of these are going to sound very familiar because it's the same terminology you would use for our romanticism, just with sexuality instead. Which, again, the difference being love versus adult fun times um which is about as much of a description about it as you're gonna get from me <laughs> uh, asexuality you don't experience sexual attraction towards people of any gender baseline like sex not a thing not grossed out about it but i no no thanks i would do a test but i know it's very inaccurate uh I think, like, the best kind of test you could be is to talk to somebody who knows all of these and, like, have them ask you questions. And then, ta-da, they would help you pick. But, again, it's also, like, a kind of case of you pick the identity that you feel suits you. Like, I might not actually be demisexual. That might not be the best term for how I feel. But it's the one I identify with because it's the one that, like, I vibe with, you know? So, speaking of demisexual, you generally don't experience sexual attraction, but you might experience it after an emotional bond is formed. So, for me, this is me. This is me. Like, I don't experience sexual attraction specifically until after I trust someone. I might not necessarily want them romantically, but I'm, I must have absolute trust with them. And the reason for that is mostly trauma. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's primi primarily trauma. But there are some people who it's not trauma-based. They just, like need to feel something before they want something more you know um and reciprosexuality don't generally experience sexual attraction until someone experiences it towards you first so same as uh reciprocal ditto for cupiosexuality don't experience sexual attraction but desire asexual relationship <clears throat> and vano same as ortho romanticism don't have the desire to perform on someone but the desire to receive i'm going to i'm going to censor a lot of these this is an 18 plus channel just a quick reminder of that but um you know <laughs> I, I still like to keep it somewhat PG. 16. <laughs> um, queer sexuality, you can't un tell whether or not you experience sexual attraction, or you can't tell what kind of attraction you experience. That's, again, self-explanatory. We kind of went over that. Aerosexuality, sexuality is fluid and or changes often. I'm also noticing a lot of these flags look the same as the arrow. 
romantic. So that's interesting. This one is new, sort of. This one is the same as one that we talked about because it's um it's very similar to agoro uh sorry, agromanticism, wherein you experience a disconnection. Uh so the dollhouse analogy that sheep gave us this one is the same thing you experience a disconnection between yourself and the object of your sexual attraction and or fantasy basically <laughs> however this one's name is autocroisexualism good luck remembering these names guys i even i can't do that like i remember the the one that I am and if somebody were to tell me it I would make my effort to rem or I would make an effort to remember it but just like in a casual conversation I have to look these up uh gray asexuality you rarely experience it or and probably only uh, under circumstance certain circumstances or uh experience it without the desire to act on it for asexuality you ex you might experience it towards someone you just met, but once you get to know them better, that will fade or disappear. Basically, one night stands, but not interested in dating. Weak flavored butter. <laughs> there was no la in that, so it was just auto croy, but that was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Akoi sexuality might experience it towards someone but do don't necessarily want them to reciprocate it because if they do you're going to lose your sexual attraction towards them um, placeo sexuality don't have the desire to receive uh, acts but have the desire to perform them um, I'd, I've actually met somebody who has that who just was like, I don't want to be touched, but I'd love to touch someone else. And I was very much, oh, so you want a pillow princess? And they were like, yes. <laughs> it, was, it was an interesting conversation. Um, I dim sexuality. Can't tell whether you experience sexual attraction or platonic attraction and distinguish them by using other factors. Basically a, I don't know. <laughs> These pictures look the same. Me when I just want to snuggle. That's about it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that was adorable. Novisexuality can't be explained with words. Ace flux fluctuates between different levels of asexual and allosexual. And apothosexuality, which is what most people think of when they hear asexual, don't experience it and are repulsed by it. Again, note that um apothosexual is what most people think of but it is not the same you know being sex repulsed is not asexuality as a whole like sex itself doesn't gross me out as somebody who is demisexual but it is something that grosses my aunt out she is apothosexual at a time well i think everyone is apothosexual or apothosexual at some point. Also, it is almost spelled that way, but it is an I instead of an O. Um, apothosexual is something that I think everybody experiences when they're very young. Because, uh, you know, as a species, we're not designed to be interested in something that's going to destroy our bodies like I remember talking to my mom once when I was very small being like oh I'm never gonna be into that I'm never gonna like boys and she was like okay hon give it a couple years and she was correct but I think everyone is going to be apothosexual and apotheromantic at some point. I could be wrong on that. Um, that's entirely a possibility. So, 
Oh, also there's something called Ace Spike, which is normally doesn't experience uh, any attraction, but on rare occasion will have an intense spike in it. That also is something that I could say was me. So, um, and then there's anisexual, which is another thing that people tend to think is asexual, but is its own thing underneath the umbrella. And that is lack of interest in all kinds of sexual pleasure or anything, but, um, like interaction or attraction, whether it be engaging in it or hearing about other people engaging in it. So not grossed out, but definitely more on the lines of, huh? Oh, I don't care. Like, why are we talking about this? Can we just have dino nuggies? <laughs> I have met several people who were that. So I feel like that's a very common uh, asexuality. So anisexual or ansexual. Yeah, I had my girls have a cooties face. Yeah, it's it, it, um, a dino nuggies. Yeah. So... Apothosexual is an apotheromanticism is pretty much something that all young kids feel. We just call it cooties. Because <laughs> you're not going to use the term apothosexual in reference to a child. Like. But technically, that's what cooties are. So. Oh, I was repulsed and it wasn't too long ago. Like two issues ago. Okay. So then you were apothosexual for a like a fair amount of time. And that is also like completely valid. Like I don't want to discredit it at all. I I wanna say like I am tired. I am chugging an energy drink and I have been stressed out. So if at any point it sounds like I am discounting somebody's experience. That is not my intention. That is not the case. Um, it is very much a sensibility of, I am of the mind of, your sexuality and romantic attraction are going to change at some point in your life. And, um, like, you're going to spend a lot of time going, eh, eh, eh. Or you might be very secure in what you feel like. So, you. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to the thing, I'm like, that would be nice, but like random, it'll be like, oh, heck yes. But yeah, um, it could be uh, RO or a spike, I think is what it, call it was called. I don't remember. See? Till I'm also to me. Yep. So. Again, it could be flux, it could be a spike, by the way, is what it was. It was a spike. Me and my trust issues ass. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, and I will say, like, you can vibe with more than one sexuality. Like, you can say I'm a spike, but then I am also, what was it? Like, I'm a spike, but I'm also reciprocal, you know, or... I'm a spike, but I'm also, uh, like, demisexual. So, y it's a spectrum, and you can be more than one, which I d think a lot of people don't talk about. You're not bound to one, and you don't have to, like, pick one and stick to it. It can change. Like, this person might shoot me. <laughs> yeah. So if you vibe with more than one, it's valid. You're 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 cool. So that was learning time with Lita. <laughs> this is genuinely just like a conversation that I have had with many of people before. So <laughs> Poor loony. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oh, God. <laughs> I am of the opinion that, like, I identify as demisexual, but I can I'm also, like, a couple of other things, like Ace Flux. So, <laughs> poor loony is so confused. Honey, do you want me to send you the pictures that I found so that you have them? Or are you just like, uh, I don't want to talk about this. 
Both are valid. Both are very valid. Yes, that might be easier. Okay, let me grab you the picks. I found like a couple, some of them have repeats, but I'm going to send pretty much all of them just because why not? Also, I just am now seeing your last DM to me. Why? I'm just going to add an odd reaction to say that I have finally seen it. Ugh. Looney right now. <laughs> literally. Literally. Just like, sure. <laughs> I am struggling to find this fucking image where it doesn't have the thing on it. Grr, arg. Okay, I'm going to send you a screenshot of the thing, and it's going to have, like, a bunch of shit highlighted, because that's how Google does it, and I'm having to take a screenshot. Just, you know, for clarification of why it looks like this. So, I am loony. <laughs> Cheap for me. <laughs> you guys are freaking adorable and I would like to keep you so you're mine now I'm keeping you oh here's a couple more I don't I don't know if you guys want me to keep going or if you would like me to shush I don't know if these are real I'm gonna have to take a look at these so I'm not gonna send you this image yet because I'm looking at these going, um, hmm, are you real? Because, like, I'm looking at some of these flags going, um, but um, dum, dum, dum. Well, guess I've been kidnapped. Indeed. <laughs> oh, no, how terrible. Literally. <clears throat> I think that's all the ones like I am secure in. I could send you the one that I'm sitting here looking at going, um, but I, it feels a little bit like misinformation type deal, you know? So I'll send it, but I'm going to react with a, uh, or er, hold on, I'm gonna. Can I add this with? There we go. And then also because this gift suits it. I have to scroll past all of the weird fruit that I have saved gifts of. <laughs> uh, very interesting. Okay, there you go, Looney. You could have done that after stream. Well, they were right in front of me, so... <laughs> Uh, C1, what are you doing? C2, <laughs> literally, I will say, like, it might just be the flags that are misinformation. I definitely, the flags are misinformation, but the, the, like, names might be fine. I don't know. You're welcome, Iluga.
my whole thought process on the save thy work. I have done nothing. Why are you telling me to save my work? I have done nothing on it. Um, my thought process on sexualities is there is a lot of labels that don't necessarily need to be <laughs> that don't necessarily need to be used. But if you want a label, it exists. You know? Whoops. We have a label maker. I can't say cheese. Will it give me cheese? If it does not give me cheese, it is worthless to me. I crave the cheese. If you ask it nicely. Can I have cheese, please? Damn, now I'm hungry. Yo, come over. I got nuggies. Father, I crave cheddar. Did you know that cheddar and apple pie actually taste really fucking good together? Fun fact with Lita that you might find kind of gross. Nuggies? But hell yeah. Come <laughs> come, I got the nuggies. Okay. I really hope this does what I want it to. Okay, there we go. Now I can look at chat. Um, I have seen veggie. Yeah, you didn't know those existed. Uh, did you know that grape jelly with cute sauce and vinegar make you kill? If you say so, sheep. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> it is an odd combination. I think it depends on what kind of jelly, question mark. <laughs> but even then, like, I'm giving a ton of allowance.
need to uh, take that down a smidge. There we go. And then down a smidge more. I really hope this comes out the way I want it to. Okay, now let's see. Uh, I'll make it for you guys sometime if you want. They didn't do here. What? Um, also. Hydration check. But I just finished my. Oh no, there's a little bit left. Um. Also, Lucifer update. He has currently stopped annoying me. He's probably off somewhere sulking that I will not go to bed and pet him. Hello. Hello, Truly Foxbat. Welcome to the Fluffle. How are you today, darling? Hello, hello. I'm glad to hear that. I'm okay. I'm up a little bit late because I have had a very hard day. So I am currently just working on a commission. My dumbass was about to be like, how are you? What about you? Because, like, I'm an awkward individual, you know. So, I guess the question is, what is everybody up to? Trolley. No, you're fine, honey. I appreciate the pronunciation correction. So, thank you. I will do my best to pronounce it correctly especially because trolley foxbat is a lot less like worrying than trolley foxbat so welcome trolley foxbat <laughs> you did not sound rude at all i appreciate the correction I don't think that did what I was hoping it would. Okay, let's darken up the sides just a little teeny tiny bit. I try spelling it like a name. That's valid. That is completely valid. And honestly, you did a pretty good job. I'm just, 
I'm a bimbo head sometimes. I would argue most of the time, and then my husband would get mad at me. And my mother. <laughs> um, let's make that just a touch darker. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's a little too dark. Let's, let's, ugh. Let's line that up just a smidge. And then we'll, we'll darken up that a bit more. <laughs> art. Yes, Arty McArt. All right, I will change into the Harley Quinn regular, which is going to look funny because I've got a filter on. <laughs> so hold on. Do 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 do. There we go. <laughs> My little costume. This <laughs> Yeah, I have different costumes. What does everybody think? Ooh, what the? Nope, I don't want to do that. Thank you, thank you. I love it. You were right about the filter, though. Yeah. <laughs> It, 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 it do be like that, though. Which, I mean, like, I'm, I'm okay with it. It suits the, the spring aesthetic. We'll bring back proper Harley Quinn. Uh... What? The pumpkin Amy? No! The pumpkin Amy has not been finished and will probably be very, very expensive. Is your character a zombie or something? No. No, I'm wearing a Halloween costume in this, basically. Uh, I am a bunny wabbit who uh eats people. <laughs> So that's what the, uh, I don't know if it comes up very often, but, uh, that's what the curry is about. Cause I post about curry a lot. You a bunny? Yeah, that's what my ears are. For your color palette, cause I know it's just me and color. So, um, I, I actually will show me when I'm doing the filter what it looks like if you're referring to my model. If you're referring to what I'm doing right now, um, I actually have a palette set up because I was doing tests at one point. Well, I was thinking, no, that's my, uh, my bunny rabbit ears. I'm a lop bunny, so... My bunny ears hang uh, down around my face. There we go. That looks a little bit better, but we're going to add a bit more shine up here and then down here. Just to kind of brighten this up a touch. I 
because I'm about to fall asleep soon, unfortunately. Isn't it like early for you, honey? <laughs> but if you know, if you need to sleep, go ahead and get some sleep. Take a nap. Uh Give me just a second, guys. I am reaching out to uh, my customer, I guess. It feels so weird to call Ren that, but it's technically what they are. Oh, honey. Well, get some sleep then. Like, your sleep is more important than my stream. Uh oh, she. What you? What, what are you doing? What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fitting with the current outfit I'm wearing. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna edit these chains. Like I, f I feel like they need like shading and light, but they're. <laughs> gonna be a pain in the ass, aren't they? Mm. I will not call you so fast. <laughs> oh, sheep. So, my question is, do I redo these from scratch? Or do I simply shade and light? Hmm. I've gotten... Oh, no. Do you want to talk about it later, honey? Sleep, this is the rat. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. We wish that you would sleep. It's good for you. And no, you're not allowed to call me out for being a hypocrite. Oh, oops. What? <laughs> Ouch. Sorry. I just blew the mic out. That hurt. Hypocrite. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All is fine. Oop, oh, that didn't work. There we go. Mm. I'm gonna send a whole army. No, I'm fine. I actually am okay. Like, also, I had the same exact issue as you, Looney, so I don't want to hear it. Ugh. <laughs> um. Oh, there we go. I think that's how that goes. Okay, hold up. <laughs> you can't soft talk me into submission. I know your tricks. I don't know what you're talking about. He. <laughs> Ugh. Well, I think that works. Literally is batting eyes. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I mean, I did that to my husband on stream. 
like I turned on my camera and I literally batted my eyes at him like, Woo, please, please turn it to easy mode. Sad face. And he was like, oh my God, you're too cute. Fine. If I die and I will, I will turn it to easy mode. And he did. <laughs> because no one can resist the leader gaze. Is that it? Nope. <laughs> Still looks slashed in half. Is that it? Oh my god. Fuck it. I'll figure it out. I got in the end of that. We're killing my enemy. No, darling. <laughs> you poor thing. Okay, and let's go in here. You know, all of this will be for naught if I decide to, uh, like, redo this myself. No, oh, I forgot the fuck. That screwed it up. There we go. Did that work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look as good, but it's fine. Such as cough, cough, not sleeping. <laughs> I'm not gonna sleep. <sighs> mm -hmm. And she says, and immediately yawns. Fuck. <laughs> All right, bet staying up party. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Let me actually see if fading assist would work on these. Um, we're gonna go for smooth shading. Put do 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 do. Put it right here. We're gonna use a base color. We're gonna. Uh, Night three, let's go. Bro. No, you'll kill yourself with that, right? Go to bed. Go the fuck to bed. Why isn't this working? Like it's kind of working, but not really. Um... Oops. This is really, really, really annoying. Um, 
just like I don't understand why why isn't this working like it's supposed to I love how it goes from like this to that. <laughs> Saying it's 3 a.m., I'm probably not going. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> I sleep until someone wakes me up. I could call you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm surprised you're not sleeping, honey. But I am glad that you are sleeping during the day. I think that's 3 a.m. I'm probably not going. It is 6 a.m. for me. So. Yeah, I feel that. Okay. Do 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 do. Hi, Trash Panda. Thank you for the return. How are you, darling? Uh, give me just a second, guys. I gotta do something on my end. Because I am uncomfortable with something, so I need to get a fix a need. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, you know what? No. Because Valorant a whore. Wow. <laughs> Looney are adorable. <laughs> this is known information yet. Why do we still play it? Honestly, y'all are masochists. And, um. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Sorry, guys. I was not comfortable with the way that uh, Trolley Foxbat was talking in chat. It felt a little condescending, and I don't appreciate that, so I just want to ban them. Zero seven, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, is it just a salute? Called it as you said that. <laughs> I'm also going to change back if that's okay. Is that you basically just saying goodbye? Because valid. Yeah, I just. I don't want to invite the energy of rude into my chat. 
That was like a rip. Oh. <laughs> Valid. So, oops. I snoozed the ads. Oh, that's okay. Or trash with a bell. <laughs> I'm so sorry for cutting out the mic there. Okay, now we get to figure out why the fuck this isn't working. <laughs> Cell shading work? Nope. Hold up. Let me try. Color. Ooh. I don't mean to make you cry. Sorry. Okay, so that's going to be the color. Um we're gonna put that in linear. We're gonna make this black. So, come on. How do I? Hmm. itch well okay so oh for fuck's sake <coughs> um i'm cozy in bed if i stop replying i'm doing sleeps good get sleeps um Got a head tap colat. I have no idea what that means. Good, you should get some sleeps. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, also, hold up. What? Uh, linear light and linear light. Okay, well, hold up. Let's make that black. And let's make this. This. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm going crazy. Like, how the fuck does any of this work? Oh my god. Like, if I do this one, the color doesn't show up at all. But if I do the other one, only one shows up. Like, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Invert the colors. What the fuck? Hall. Just sleep in my bed. I only share with animals. <laughs> but Trash Panda is an animal. They're an albino raccoon. Not quite a rat, but then I'll have to turn you down. Oh. You all should join me. <gasps> yes. I will turn into a fluffy bunny rabbit just for snugs. <laughs> Even though I... Oh. Damn, sheep. Okay, well, this is not going to work at all, clearly. <laughs> so... We're just out, 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 gonna go in here. And we're gonna do a manicure night.
I need them. Yes, we all need Snooks. I'm the smallest animal here. Yeah, you kind of are, Looney. <laughs> For reference to anyone confused, Looney is a rat. I may be a cutest. What does that mean? Nine nine. All the nine eyes. <laughs> Mm. Acquiesced. Oh. Do you mean acquire or inquire? Because acquiesce means to uh, gain something. And that's not how you spell it. I'm sorry. I did not mean to become the grammar police, but I did by accident. Oops. I also could be wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody is responding. Mm. Oh. Huh. I don't know that one then. Interesting. Whoa, what was that? Hello, Basement Korean. Welcome in. Anna. Uh, uh. Hi, Mother. I'm sorry. Yeah, whoa. A reference as to why call me Mother. I I'm sorry. I would I would. Uh, sheep. I said no to sleep because of the ara ara. Ooh. Me. <laughs> I am confusion. I'm sorry. But yes, hello. Welcome to the Fluffle Basement Korean. How are you, darling? I do apologize for my reaction. I am sleepy. <laughs> uh, it is 6 a.m. I have not slept for over 24 hours. More like 2004. Like, I don't remember what they said. I'm sorry. I'm trash. I never said that. You're fine. Where did that come from?
through and got really quiet. Is everybody okay? I can't redeem the save. Oh, it's probably been redeemed in the last 30 minutes, but I have saved for you. <laughs> dance, 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 dance. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm just watching you mess, mess with the pixels. <laughs> You're adorable, sheep. And I love your face. And you still spelled it wrong. I have no idea. Is, are you on mobile still, honey? That might be why. No, I just can't tell. <laughs> rave, rave, dance, dance, all the dances. <laughs> I don't. So it's P I X E L. There you go. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> good job, sheep. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. And I'm, I mean that. Literally. Mm. Pixels. Arg. Same, Looney. <laughs> My brain at work. Congratulations. You did something I could never help. Oh my god, it really does miss me, right? Yeah, I've heard of people who just like their brains permanently stopped lurking. And it was like, oh no. No one can type. Type? What's that? Typing is something that only smart people do. We are not smart. <laughs> or at least I'm not. I have bimbo energy. Like, I might be a Twitch mom, but I'm not smart mom. Right, no work. Just do things. Indeed. <laughs> I just love when a lime butt scrolls <laughs> across my screen. Me when words, hoba dooba. I'm sorry, I cut in the mic. Maybe <laughs> raccoon types. Oh my gosh. My darlings, you are wonderful. Hush. You're fine. <sighs> I'm so here for the gremlin energy. Uh, me too. Me too, honestly. I expect more of it, honestly. Just, like, all of it. You almost got to me. <laughs> I think I need to fix this again. Delete your art. Delete your art. <laughs> you actually went... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, have you had boba before? Not only have I had it, I can make it. Because I'm smart. <laughs> she says having like five seconds ago calling herself dumb. <laughs> what do you make? So I make a lavender earl grey and I add brown sugar syrup boba. Occasionally, I will add a bit of cream as well as milk. Not like the same amount of cream and milk as I normally would. I do add just like a little less. We're going to turn down the opacity for that. I want to believe I just had bad boba. 
Probably, actually, because the first boba I had, uh, they cooked the the boba pearls incorrectly. And uh, so they were really, like, chewy, chewy. And it was like, ooh. And I tend to make them fairly, like, soft instead of, like, so they are, like, chewy, like, gummy bear texture, but not rubbery. Because I cannot stand when they are rubbery. Me want. <laughs> uh, please, I would happily make you boba, Trash Panda. Maybe one day I will. <laughs> I'll just make, like, boba and ship it to all of you. <laughs> Maybe I'll start like a boba company, you know, like Jacksepticeye's Top of the Morning Coffee. I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> I don't know. I still need to get like to the point where I can do the merch stuff that was suggested to me. Because I hear people still want Lita plushies. Which I'd love to give to you guys. I really would. I want to lead it plus two. Aww, sheep, you're so cute. <laughs> More lead it. Oh, guys. With the marshmallows, please. Of course, Looney. I will package up marshmallows just for you. <laughs> you, you. You know what? You can, you can, I'll send you samples so that you can be the tester group. <laughs> I'll do that for all my mods. <laughs> I'll take your entire stock again. <laughs> I freaking love you. Aw, thank you. But yeah, there have been a couple suggestions for, like, merch. I mean, if you want, I can talk to you guys about that. Because I actually have a whole channel in my server. It's hidden now. Because we I archived it. But... Uh, let's see. What what merch ideas were given? Uh, so. Sorry, she. So let's see. We we were talking about a beanie with a bloody rose, bloody rose necklace, and sticker. A bloody rabbit sticker. Um, sub emote plush. Oh, these are a couple of emojis, I think. Um, zombie rabbit plush, zombie rabbit mug and sticker. Um, bloody minky uh, blanket with blood rabbit and <laughs> with a blood rose in the middle. Um, that was something. Th these are some things that a spe like a specific watcher actually uh, recommended, and they've not been on for a while. Acid washed hoodie cropped um, and a cropped one with bloody rabbit on the sleeves and on the front, uh, just like bloody hands doing a heart shape. Uh, and then there was an Alita sticker, Alita mug, pizza, for, hashtag pizza for Alita sticker because it's a thing that keeps cropping up now and again is hashtag pizza for Alita because I love pizza. So... <laughs> Um, bloody rabbit ear f headphone extensions. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, what else? <laughs> uh, 
So I made a comment in a stream once. If my head falls off in the middle of a conversation, it's okay. And somebody was like, you should get a jacket with that on the back. Um, and then a transparent, uh, uh, like transparent mug with a doodle of me holding my head like a basketball. <laughs> um, a little misery now is better than a lot panic later. This is something I still live by. Uh, life's better when you eat your friends. <laughs> oh, well, you're, you're not dating me because I'm the smartest barrel in the bucket or whatever. Oh, God. I don't know what those would go on, but definitely. Resting existentialism. Um... I skipped lunch and there you are all juicy. <laughs> oh man. Um a hat with a chibi bunny eating a chibi person. Uh but or a bunny holding a person saying, "I have my lunch here." <laughs> uh <laughs> Um and then a big a shirt with a picture of a bunny saying, You're my snack, but with drool coming out of the mouth because of double meaning. And a bunny asking for Uppy's hands up, saying, Please, just a nibble. <laughs> uh, so these were all of the like uh, like merch ideas that people have come up with since the start of my channel. <laughs> I want all the points. Oh my god. I'm sorry you don't have all the points, Trash Panda, but you will you will be able to have it soon. So I love these. <laughs> Me too, Epiphany. We should revamp some of these. I will bring some of these memes back, I swear. Cause like they're great, honestly. So Mm. <clears throat> wow okay uh yeah some of you haven't been here very long which hi welcome in um oh God, my knees ache so bad. <laughs> I used to lean more into the, like, cannibalistic bunny thing more. I really want to get back into that. Because I feel like... I feel like y'all really enjoy when I lean into the bunny murder. Making. Hi, Rain. How are you, darling? It has been a minute. I have completely busted the mic. I'm so sorry. Consume all the consumption of the friends. Uh, it's a really good game. I do recommend it. He's actually playing my copy. But hello, Rain. How have you been? I I've missed you. Uh, murder. <laughs> Indeed. Um. Hello, hello. Oops. You just woke up? <laughs> well, I hope you slept well then. Um, I have not slept. <laughs> I haven't slept since 1 p.m. yesterday. Because I had a stressful night. And then it was like... You know, it's like an hour and a half before I would stream. I'm just going to stream. So. And right now, my knees are killing me. Like Jizzarone. Kill them back. <laughs> just scoop out my, uh my kneecaps for the curry I'll steal some of yours it's fine <laughs> aww 
you've been busy with university, that's completely valid. I hope that you're you're enjoying it. <laughs> we have definitely missed you. Uh, I think Mama was saying something to that effect recently, too. So... Which, by the way, did you see Mama got her account hacked? <laughs> Isn't it late for you to all to be awake? Um, so Sheep's not sleeping. Uh, Trash Panda and Epiphany, since they're always awake about this time, I'm going to assume that it's fine. 3.30 is technically early for you, baby. So you should probably be asleep. <laughs> I am not. It's the final project, so I can finish the course. Ooh, good luck, honey. I hope that you, um, you are able to get it done and over without a hitch. I mean, when are you? <laughs> I don't know, like 9 a.m. maybe? Like, that's when I typically end my stream. At least nowadays. Like, this is my new normal streaming slot. Which, by the way, uh, rain. Okay, that's six here. Yeah. You you should sleep. Um, Rain, what time zone are you in? Like, three more hours. No, go bed. Make like a loony and sleep. Because I'm pretty sure loony, pa lo loony, loony passed out. Why are you all saying goodnight, chat? You need to sleep. It's 7.34 a.m. Are you waking up or going to bed? Or just haven't slept? Because, like, insomnia is fucking valid. I personally loathe it. I should like to chomp out my eyeballs, please. That was a gruesome image. I do apologize. I don't sleep until 12. I did not know this. Thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Insomnia to be... Yeah. I have really bad insomnia. Uh, but the problem is, is my insomnia manifests as both in and hyper. So like... There will be instances where I have not slept for like a week. And then similarly, there will be instances where I sleep for 24 hours straight and then I could continue to sleep and then I, but I already have a headache. I said in chat before, I don't remember anything. But they won't close and my brain keeps jumping. That to me sounds like ADHD procrastination. My insomnia only peaks when I'm super stressed. Yeah. No. I have a friend who literally cannot sleep until they just hit the floor. Like, oh, well, that makes sense then. Um, I take meds to sleep. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry. Do they help? Mine, mine didn't. Mine, um, mine actually just made the hypersomnia part worse and gave me depression, which is ironic because they were an antidepressant. Hmm. 
Oh, that sucks. But yeah, I feel that same. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, but I also oof. I'm s mm, that's that is probably really scary. I'm betting. Like, whoa. Um. I, w I would prefer if you didn't call me that, if that's okay. Please. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that you hallucinate, Rain. That, that must suck. Uh, give him range from a few hours to multiple days. Yikes. I'm so sorry. I think COVID is doing a lot of this to me. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. One stress. Uh, I feel that kind of same. Because, like, the reason I'm awake right now is because I couldn't sleep. With, uh. With some of the, the shit that's going on in my life right now. I'm actually going to delete that comment because that, that, that makes me really uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I would, I would prefer if you did not call me that. I do not have anything to hydrate with. I'm afraid I might. Oh. 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 drink in a minute. Thank you for the posture check. I'm not getting water. Blech. No, no sleep. No water. Hmm. I need to move where my face is. Hold up. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Mm. Wow, so my tongue is just refusing to work. Ah. 
There we go. There we go. That worked. I am not hypocritical. I have water. Are you drinking it? <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> you both sleep sleep. No. No, her. No, no. I am not. I'm not going to drink water. No. Nah. <laughs> Downvote. <laughs> Lita drink water. No, you cannot make me. <laughs> I'm not getting water. Unfortunately, Mama is not here to back you up. So, unlike with the shower instance, you cannot convince me to drink water. Mm. <laughs> That's called an IV. I really, really hate this app's, like, bullshit. Hold on, let me see if it needs to be updated. <laughs> okay, that's not how that works. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ba -da 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 uh, that was not what I was hoping. I need to figure out my, like, mocap because it's not working properly. What? No. But thank you for the bitty. I appreciate you. That will go towards my move. Here, one drink water. <laughs> no, thank you for the bitty that you'll go towards the move, but I shall not drink water. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this is just gonna. Be... I love you too, Rain. Good luck at work, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Mwah. Thank you for pop stopping by. Missed your face. No, 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 no. Shh, I'm gonna be fine. No drink. No drink. Drinky drink nani. No, I'm fine. It's fine. It's all good. No, no drink. Drinking not needed. Whoops. Oh, no. You know, actually. Don't not not. <laughs> Did you count those? Wow. I'm impressed, but I'm not going to drink water. <laughs> you cannot make me. It would take something significant to make me drink water. No, no. Thank you for the video. It shall go towards the move, but no. No, I refuse. You cannot make me. Nah. Thank you for the video. It shall go towards the move, but no. No, Twinkie. <laughs> How 
titties are you guys going to just donate one of? <laughs> oh my gosh. Mateo's totally going to be mad at me later too. My friend Mateo is also like heavily into me drinking water and he fussed at me about not doing so or no no he fussed at me not doing so like a little while ago and then yesterday was like i will literally give you money if you behave and i was like bet and now here i am not drinking water <laughs> him's gonna hate me oh my god <laughs> Drink H2O. <laughs> oh my lord. Trash bear the stout. <sighs> no drinky. <laughs> I'm gonna hate shaving the rest of those. Uh fine <laughs> 120 biddies oh my gosh this will go towards the move and like <laughs> I love the biddy sound being delayed <laughs> the, the problem is you guys have set a precedence so now I can't drink water <laughs> because you are nigging at me too. <laughs> she just sent me a gift of something like drinking water. <laughs> oh, it's a cat literally under a faucet. <laughs> Uh oh. Why do I feel like that? Okay, okay. It's not fully drink water. Oh my gosh. Knowing you guys, you'll, you'll like come up with some way to make me drink water. <laughs> No 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 Whoopsie doo doo whoopsie whoopsie doo doo Mm. You know, you guys are being a little too quiet after bullying me about drinking water. What are you guys hatching? <sighs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Flame, fire, destruction. <laughs> Nothing. Dot, dot, dot. Mm. <laughs> that feels like a lie. I'm not lying. I'm just very being very. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, and on top of that, I need to go to the bathroom now. Not doing it, but I need to. <laughs> mm. 
Maybe? Who knows? Oh, gods. Garrett or so help me. <laughs> Walk all the way there. Good luck. You don't even know where I live. Because fun fact, it's not in the same place that Al lives. If you even know where that is. <laughs> I might. I, I, I'm going to have to do a bio break though. So I will be right back.
I hath returned, and I realize I forgot to put music on that, so I am so sorry. Okay, let me take a look at what you guys said while I was gone. Uh, water is so homey. I will walk all the way there. Yes, I do. I can make a pit stop with Al. Oh my lord. <clears throat> okay, we're about to have ads. I'm so sorry. So, heads up. No. I did get something to drink, though. <laughs> Some can opening ASMR for you. Maybe. <laughs> At least it is something. True. Oh good, the bunnies are out of sync. I was afraid they'd be in sync and they're not supposed to. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to put um words. I wanted to put a song over that. I'm about to purse. Okay, get good sleep. I love your face. Mwah. And I hope you have pleasant dreams. Thank you for the lick. <laughs> okay. I think I have some bots in my uh, stream. So we're going to... Well, I can't tell. I cannot tell which ones are bots and which ones are not. Eh. Mm. Oh, well. I will find out later, I guess. <laughs> I don't understand that, though. Why? Why there be bots? What is the point of bots? You know, like why, why do they exist? What, uh, what is their function? Like, am I crazy for wondering? <laughs> I love my lurk and unlurk messages. They're so funny. <laughs> I need to check what time is dawn because I got some stuff that's charging in the moonlight and I don't want them to burn in the sunlight I also realize that the stream is probably a little, like, unnerving with the fact that there is no background music. Would you guys like me to instill some background music? Or are you, like, comfortable with it not having any? Yes. Okay. So... Uh, let's add some music then. Also, that was so cute. Okay, we're gonna do this playlist because it's a uh, cool, in my opinion. Well, no, actually. Yeah, let's do this one. Why can't I hear it? Did 
There we go. Nope, it's gone. Maybe? I might sneeze within the... Oh, nope, it's gone. Too bad I've heard my sneezes are cute. You guys would have enjoyed it. Do I think my sneezes are cute? No, I do not. But it doesn't negate the fact that people think they are. Nope, that was not what I wanted. I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I've become my own antagonist, lost in a war I'll never win, kind of like I made a glut, all inside my head, with fun to teeth, I remade, and underneath the evergreen. Okay. So we got that down. Now let's get into some of the light. I'm confess, I'm a mess, I become my own antagonist, lost in a war I'll never win, sinking like I made of lead, on a hole inside my head, so if I'm too deep, bury me underneath the evergreen. Okay. I hold on. Mm -hmm. Underneath the evergreen. Bury me underneath, underneath the evergreens. I confess I'm a mess. I become my own antagonist. Lost in a war, never win. Feel like I made a lot from the hole inside my head. So if I'm too deep, bury me. Underneath the evergreen. Okay. So, what are we all up to? What you got going on, guys? A daydream. Just a fall of leaf kept me alive. I won't be your thing. Talking nonsense. I can feel it a lot like I'm obsessed. Listen to my Walkman from 1995. 80 sound better, all the cassettes. Just a fight outside of me, the lake. Oops, sorry. I did not mean to flush the mic. me let me down gently and be yourself it's okay i won't be your thing in my head i'm talking nonsense i can't tell nobody but i make them upset so i listen to my walkman from 1995 Ooh, kitty on cat camp <laughs> i feel like i should move our little ghosty friend so I'm going to move him right here where he's not really in the way because I don't do anything with that. And you look in my eyes and ask, where did you go? 
not me just now realizing I forgot to turn on the thing. That you guys need to see what I'm doing. Oops. Sorry. Let me turn that on for you guys real quick. I could ever manage. Cause all my demons have learned to swim. They've been pulling me down again. All my demons have learned to swim. And they're pulling me down. Pulling me down. Tends to have a side of me to let go. She's along for the ride, but I get so lost sometimes. She says, oh no. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be fucked up forever and figure this out forever. Promise me when you bleed out. Does it bug you guys if this is orange? I want to test something. So, if the fact that um, it's... Ooh, I have this music way too loud for you guys. There you go. Um, please let me know if uh, the pen being orange is irritating. Okay? Whoops, I just realized what I'm doing. We're just a room full of strangers looking for someone to save us. And we're dying a little, a little to die. Dying a little, living to die. It doesn't stop skating. Hatred. Hatred in the way this. Dying to live, living to die, we're just, we're just so strangers. Okay, let's try shading assist on this. Okay, why did that work? Why did that work when the other one wouldn't? Ooh, base lit color. I'd die for, I'd cry for, you know what I'd die for. You, you know, I might have spoken too soon. Because now it doesn't look like it's working at all. I will, I'm prepared to lose. Die for. I was really hoping it wouldn't do that. I want to know why it's flickering like that. Because it's not supposed to. And I know what's causing it.
Okay, that's really weird and really annoying. So, even though it's painful, I'm prepared to lose. Before I'd cry for you, know that I'd die for you. Oh, I'm still here, by the way, just grinding on a quest. Then answer me, Lude. What quest are you grinding for and what game? I think that's going to be my question. I also need to, like, not talk so loud. Hold on. I won't love it to lose. Die for. I'd cry for you. Know that I'd die for you. There we go. Sensitivity on my mic's turned down just a bit. Okay. That's even better. Supreme. Oh, Terraria. <laughs> I should have known it was Terraria. <laughs> Unfortunately, as much as I try, I know nothing about Terraria. I'd love to. One of these days. One of these days, I shall understand Terraria. But that day is not today. You'd cry for, you know that I'd die for you. That I'd die for. I'd bleed for, you know that I'd bleed for you. Let me see your halo, even though it's painful. I'm prepared to lose. That I'd die for. I'd cry for, you know that I'd die for you. Okay. Why? Also... Up. There we go. Oof. You know what? No. Okay. There we go. So that's that's pretty good. And the smoke, we pray God for mercy. That he knows we never show. Jumps up to the blind, but you can't force them to see. You can take us back in time, but it wouldn't change a thing. Cause God came down from his kingdom, and he came down from his throne. He asked him if he'd take us back, he would surely tell us no. Cause God came down from his kingdom. Oh! Well, that changes things quite a bit. Because I didn't realize how weird the uh, shading and light was on this. So, we're going to remove. And we're going to do some fiddling. Sinking ship, name of the God who lives out there to not forget. If God came down from his kingdom, if he came down from his home, and we asked him if he'd take us back, 
surely tell us now If God came down from his kingdom If he came down from his home Ask him if he take us back Show us we can go Is the way we Is it worth the suffering? Is it worth the price we pay? Blind, but you can't fool them to see. You can take us back in time, but it wouldn't change a thing. If God came down from his kingdom, if he came down from his throne, cast him if he take us back, surely tell us no. If God came down from his kingdom, came down from his home, and we asked him if he take us back, tell us where we can go. We're feeling we saw the kings reach out. Let the name keep on meaning. I've been searching for your love. We've been into nothing, and we go up in the smoke. We'll break God for missing that He knows we never show. But you can't force them to see You can take us back in time But it wouldn't change a thing Uh, paste the strong position to you, but you're just a lonely star. I try to bring you down, but a level isn't good enough. You always do as you believe, so I'm gonna follow suit and take a seat. Should fall apart. Okay, this is a delay of us. <laughs> uh, this might be me. I'll be honest, I am not functioning well enough to learn about Terraria, but maybe one day, okay? Um, Actually, no, I do have one question, and this is solely because I am, or I was, a don't starve together nerve. What's up with the eyeball? Like, I know there's, like, an eyeball boss... The edge of my sea, I'll buy my tongue so you don't hear me. Every part of you and me, I don't hate the ones who made me. For right out of our wars, you say that I am privileged, but I guess it's my curse. Elaborate. Someone asked me how I was. Last I checked, I was a fucking wreck across the room. No one showed up. Still, then I looked up. There's no object to transform. What the fuck you mean? Med check, everybody. If you have morning meds that you need to take, please take them now. But those are the first two bosses. Ooh. Oh. Valid. Okay. It's a painfully difficult boss and don't starve together. I know that much. Where are my meds? I need to take them. I need to take my meds. I need to take my meds. I think I'm reaching delirium. Mm -hmm. 
wait it's in don't starve together yeah um terraria and don't starve together did a collab and um the eyeball was what terraria gave don't starve and it's still in the game and it's like a painfully difficult boss but if you manage to win it um then you can get a like a pet And the pet is so cute because it's a miniature version and it's just like chill. Like it's so chill. I was going to look at something. That's funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that was the, um, that was the collab. I can't hate the ones who made me. You can get a lot from it. Yeah, you can get a lot from the eyeball too. So like it, it's a great boss. I am unsurprised that the Deer Clops is a good boss, too. <laughs> Click here for more details. Okay, I'm not seeing why they would email me about that. Oh, dear God, please tell me they were not canceling my appointment, because if they were... Well, that's not a secret, Lisa. I'll follow suit and take a seat to watch you fall apart. For those of you wondering, I am checking my um my messages for because I got a an alert this morning about how I had an appointment coming up, and I was like, okay, I know I have an appointment, but when is that? And I see now that it's Monday, and the reason they're telling me today. Is because they are not open on the weekends. So fun facts. <laughs> Can't hate the ones who made me. Why do I feel like this song just fucking played? That's because it did. <laughs> okay. Uh. If you feel something All is all we have Feel something Uh, okay, where the fuck did that paste to, exactly? Oh my god. Okay. I figured it out. Mm -mm. 
Let's see if it will actually post to uh, folder two. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Don't know what it was that made a piece of him die. Followed him with a sigh. An impression in the blur. Think that silence makes a good man confer. Forgive me for all my sins. God forgive me for everything. God forgive me for all my sins. God forgive me. God forgive me. All I can do this on my own. Don't go. Don't do this on my own. Hi, buddy. Do you want me to pet you? Was that your little kitten manner? Mm -hmm. Well, are you in? You just wanna I'll tell you the truth. You'd lie for a lie. The spell of my gods. It would make a mess I can't clean up. If you follow me, you will only get lost. If I try to get closer, we'll only lose touch. Already know too much, and you're not going anywhere. Don't be rushing me because I love you so much. Say you'll never leave because I need you so much. Don't go, 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 don't go. Don't mind me just being a little crazy. Me up when you're wasted, hate it. Treat me like a game, I will play it. You only love me when you feel like it. I don't think love's supposed to feel like this. To your old ways, I hope you'll treat me the same. 
any coin, anything. On purpose, always living in the middle between the rest. So pretty, fuck you, yeah, worthless. I don't deserve this. You won't change. I know that I can't stay. How many times can I hug away? Me and faces only hit me up when you're wasted. Hey, yeah. Treat me like a game, I won't play it. Yeah. You only love me when it feels like it. I don't think love's supposed to feel like this. <laughs> Everybody's so quiet after a while. I need to stop saying that when I get nervous because everything's a little too quiet for me. Can't stand me. Got your cheat in last week. I mean, it's pretty early. It is, yeah. Like, it's, it's almost 8 a.m. for me. Most people... <laughs> Literally, as we're saying that, hi, Trash Panda, welcome back. Only hit me up when you're wasted, waiter, treat me like a cake. What were you up to? Little lurky bean. You saying that brings me back to the reality, though, so thank you. Well, then I will keep doing it. I'll be like, yo, you being quiet. What's up? What you guys doing? I've always been here just lurking, waiting to pounce. Oh, You're adorable. I'll keep you. Wait. <gasps> shit, 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 shit. And I know that I can't stay. I don't think love's supposed to feel like this. That's the one I wanted to delete. I can't help myself, help myself, myself. You know that I can't get to love. Make it to the work. Spend it till that breaks. And I thought I'm one night away. I'm up so straight. But you never work, no. I can't lose your love. Cause you don't tell this. You know that it's selfish. So I'm gonna mix up. What the fuck? Like you are me. Just a little mess up that you are. Okay. Tell me where you were. Oh, you seemed impressed. You were too sweet, and I'm so good. And that's a good mm. one night away. Sometimes I'm upset to hear that you never work near. Can you know your love? So little selfish, you know that it's selfish. I'm also flirting with someone. <gasps> Ooh, how's it going? Tell us everything. I'm look. I am. I am a gossip whore. I. I need to know. <laughs> like, is this person good for my emotional support panda or do I need to fight them? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Morning.
Do we have? Okay, just a little bit. Just a little messed up. Like you. I mean, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, valid. I don't know why this is like. I want it to be more severe. Oh, not that severe. Mm. Why ain't nobody ever giving me the eye? Well, that looks awful. Going back. One, two, three. Is there anybody who ain't got See, that was a much simpler way of shading the fluff than what I was doing. And nobody ever hit me in the heart. Um, but the current person. Ooh. Fingers crossed it works out. Well, first, fingers crossed they're a decent human being. Then, fingers crossed that it works out. Gotta be mom first. Honestly, what I'm seeing as far as the chain goes is very little lighting. So I might just like dull it down, but Leave it as is. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Are they decent, but I don't think I could get them. I sincerely doubt that. You're a sweetheart. Like if they've got any taste. Which, to be fair, is debatable for, like, the majority of people. They will 100% like you. Okay, that was all the shading I needed. They like me, but I don't think they like me. You, I mean, you don't know until, like, you ask, I guess.
I would like to point out I have a pen for this, but I'm not using it. Oof, my knees are killing me all. <sighs> Ooh. I just stretched them out and they cracked so loud. So maybe that will help. I can dream. And I want to when the bench goes up in flames. I wish that I could change. Oh, everybody's staring at me. Oh, everybody's staring at me. Since what you chose, why can no one understand? I got scissors from my hands. Pull you closer, but I can't. I don't want to kill a man. Yeah, well, okay. I keep, you know, keep talking and see where it goes. You know? And maybe it'll work out, and maybe it won't, but, you know. It's worth a shot. Days I'm on the lawn. Eyes don't care for me. Days when I'm alone. But I'm okay with it all. Everybody's staring at me, oh. But I don't really know. I don't really know. Why can't no one understand? I got scissors for my hand. Hold you closer, but I can't. I don't want to kill a man. Come near. Let your good will come from here. Be friends and from this of here. I got, I got scissors for my hands. Oh, well, that's not right. Linear lights. Mm hmm. Got, I got scissors for my. I got, I got scissors for my hands. Okay. The fuck? We're in the same clothes I've been. Jerry goes along with it. What happened to the girl next door? She's all grown up, she don't come home anymore. Where the fuck you want to go around? Some doors up, she don't know to be found. Don't be found. Mm. Hmm. Why is it only lighting this one? That's bullshit. She don't want up, she don't come home anymore. Maybe a four, but I suck at confessing my feelings. I mean, I get that. I get that so but you know if you don't you never know what would have happened you know it's in my opinion it's worth the anxiety now for potential love later or rather than agony later. You know? It might be too soon though. I do agree that. Like, how long have you been talking? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Just don't... Don't wait forever. Because... Um... Eventually, they... 
they're they they won't be there anymore. I'm speaking from experience here. I met them in someone's stream, funny enough. Oh, I feel that. I've met some of my best friends in stream. Now, I've not met anyone that, like... But I have met one of them on TikTok before. But I was too shy to ever say hi, so I just... I lurk like a creep. <laughs> like a snow. If God came down from his kingdom, came down from his home. Okay, then yeah, it's definitely too early. Although, whoa, I just realized what happened there. I, I will say... It might not be terribly too early to be like, how do I explain this? It might be a point to say, you know, that you are interested in getting to know them romantically, but obviously like not that way currently, like not right now. Yeah, exactly. Like, if they're flirting back, I think it, it's worth saying, like, or, or asking, like, are we doing this as friends? Like, is this just going to ever be a friendship? Or is there a possibility after we get to know each other a little bit more of it being more? Just, like, set expectations, you know? Because if you can set those expectations, it will save you a ton of pain in the long run. Does that make sense? I have never have expectations and experience all the emotions. I completely get that. That's why I'm saying, like, ask them, like, we're flirting. Are we flirting as friends or are we flirting, flirting? Because I have actually experienced, like, the other end of that where somebody was just like flirting as a joke and then it wasn't a joke anymore and so or you know none of them because <sighs> I mean, all right. I have given my advice. That is all I can do. Go forth and Godspeed to you. I'm just thinking in my head away. Can't work it out, I'm not breaking down again. <laughs> I'm 
me to my mom. I have seen so much of that. Hi, Miss Dark. How are you, darling? It's been a minute. Although, to be fair, I've not been streaming consistently because <laughs> life. I had to break the skin. I'm just sensitive. I do like streaming early. Um, People are a little bit more active. I'm not sure why. And I get to hear from my viewers who are not in the States. And it's just, it's nice. My hands around your throat, killing me alone. My room, my guard up, can't let go. Need to break the skin, I'm just sensitive. I'm just sensitive. A vulnerable mess, me but delicate, I'm just sensitive. It's only 12 p.m. here. See? Uh, it's 8 a.m. here. I typically stream at like 3 a.m. Um, and to like 9 a.m. now. So... Guard up, can't let go. Don't mean to break the skin. I'm just sensitive. Wow, I I really actually like that. Like, now I'm impressed with myself. Someone me. Although Okay. I am extraordinarily pleased. Whoops. I'm going to post what I've got right now in my server and to my um friendly friends. One guy. Yeah. 
Waiting for my Xbox 2 uh, update. You didn't, I don't think, uh, Trash Panda, but I can say it if you'd like me to. My stomach at the thought that you're the only one I've got. I'm gonna mean it, not all the way down. The inside of me, shorts in my dreams, cause I'm not the one who's cold and to rust like dust to dust. Love into last <laughs> Hi, Trash Panda. Honestly, you're dead to me. When all you were still had the meaning to me for apologies Cause honestly, fuck your honesty I'm done with the insanity I'm a casualty of your dreams Cause I'm not the one to this gold and to rust Now it's dust to dust Love and to lust Ah, there's no need for apologies Cause honestly you're dead to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dead to me. Honestly, you're dead to me. I'm bleeding. Bleeding from what's mistaken. Hey, hon, don't let it stop you. I have heard of uh, people tr like breaking out of jail, hit, um, stealing a boat and sailing like several miles. And I'm talking like hundreds of miles just to see their person so <laughs> like don't like discount it for the less i come alive it's hard to see inside i love my music ooh I do not love when my eyelashes itch. Oh, really? You know what I'm going to do now, because I'm streaming. <laughs> Roy literally flopped onto the ground to escape it. You're not getting away. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what was
we got one Mew. And I don't think I'm gonna do that to him again. Ow. For one thing, he punished me for it. <laughs> Can you speak German? I think the other person speaks English based on the 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 convo. Maybe they'll come here. You never know. Or wherever you are. I don't know if you're in the States. <clears throat> I might end stream um, like an hour early. I got stuff to do. And I'm a little bit tired. So I might sleep a bit. I do be in the States. Ooh, okay. See? It's bad, bad decisions. Hold on. Okay. I'm not even sure if I'm ending and y'all are like, go to bed. <sighs> not necessarily. Okay, okay. I'll go to bed. <laughs> At least for a little bit. One last save. And let's see if there's somebody who I know that I can raid. And if not, I will take suggestions. Because I really need to stop only raiding people I know. But I, there is somebody that I do know who I have not talked to in a while. So we're going to raid her. Um, her name is Lychee. She's so sweet. <laughs> You you promised me when I, like, begged you to go to sleep that you would sleep after my stream. So you have to, to go to bed. No. Mm -mm. You would pause and put your, uh, yee! And put your computer to hibernate. And come back to it. So end your quest. All right. Um, I'm going to send you off to Lychee. As always, be kind, be courteous, be awesome. <sighs> okay, how much longer will it take you? Hmm. If it's going to take you more than like two minutes, mm -mm. pause, hibernate. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. So I'll send you guys on over to Lychee. As always, be kind, be courteous, be awesome. I love you all so, so much. Don't forget to take your meds. And I will see you all tomorrow.